Algebra and real analysis. This meeting is for for MSc Max learners. We are to the coordinator, fourteen of two. Uh, uh, this meeting for the MSc Max learners. So now I request Dr. Tom Burgess to welcome, to give the welcome address and welcome all the participants. Over to Professor Tom Burgess. Yes. Respected Regional Director Dr. J. S. Dorothy and today's uh, <coughs> speaker Dr. Didimos, Head of the Department of Mathematics. SH College Tevera and all the respected members of the regional center and our very respected Dr. Sujata Verma, who is the head of the School of Social Science, uh, School of Science, and all other who are present here, the, my dear students. Actually, very happy to be here to introduce to you the very important persons who have come over here to meet you. Today we are going to have a talk on the MSc Max, especially MMT 002, and MMT004, the linear algebra and the real analysis. And Dr. Didimos, he has been taking his PhD from the Cochin University of Science and Technology, that is in algebra and quantum theory, and he has published so many papers and he is a very famous resource person and very active in other activities also. So, first of all, I welcome our beloved, respected J.S. Dorothy, our regional director who is the source of inspiration for all our other activities in our IGNO study centers. And he is a very inspiring person. And with her help, we, we, we are able to do so many things. So I am very happy to welcome her to this function. Next, I welcome our first speaker, Dr. Didi Mos, who is the uh, head of the Department of Mathematics, SH College, Tevera. He will be speaking on linear algebra. And I give him a very warm welcome to this function. And I welcome all the members of the regional centers, center, Cochin, and I also welcome our MSc Max students who are nearly 90 in number, and we are very happy that they have come for the function so and I welcome them all to the function and I invite Dr. J.S. Dorothy to have a few words regarding this function. Welcome Dr. J.S. Dorothy. 
our regional director. Thank you very much, sir. I'll just uh, brief about uh, the MSc Max program. Uh, it has the, it, uh, the core courses, the elective courses on the project and also practical. And uh, we, it is a semester based courses. So five uh, subjects in the first semester, three subjects in the second semester, and again five subjects in the third semester and four subjects in the fourth semester. And Dr. S. Vengatramanan and Dr. Deepika are the program coordinators for this uh, uh, MSc Max program. And uh, this is actually an application oriented course and it is in line with the NEP uh, 2020 which says there should be some application of the real uh, knowledge. So this is actually mathematics with application in computer science. So th this program. And uh, uh, with uh, this introduction, I just want to share that Professor Tom Burgess has been coordinating for all the support services of this MSc Max under Regional Center Kochi. And we are grateful to you, sir. And with this few words, I'll hand over the floor to uh, Professor Didimos, HOD, Department of Mathematics, SH College, Devara, to share on linear algebra, that is MMT002. Over to sir. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, good afternoon, all. First of all, I would like to thank all the organizers of this program for giving me this opportunity. So I wish to discuss uh, linear algebra for the next one hour. Uh, actually, I, I would like to uh, share some topics on uh, metrics of uh, linear transformations, similarities, and diagonalizability. So I briefly uh, go through uh, all these things uh, in your syllabus. Uh, then uh, I can understand that uh, there are lots of exercises and uh, topics are covered in that syllabus. But uh, in the coming one uh, hour, uh, I would like to uh, discuss all these things uh, in a nutshell. So uh, I'll uh, explain and uh, discuss some, uh, some theorems and definitions, examples of uh, linear algebra uh, according with your syllabus. Okay. So uh, I'll share uh, my uh, share one page uh, in that I'll write all these things so that can be seen from your side. So let me share my screen. I hope this is visible uh, and notepad is present, is being present. Is it visible right now? Yes, sir. It is visible, sir. It is visible, sir. You have to probably it's better to share only the particular window. I think you are trying to probably share the full screen. That may be the problem.
now it is visible now the body is visible okay 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 and seeing our discussion uh, i start with vector spaces uh, i hope that uh, you might have uh, seen all these basic definitions uh, of the following uh, terms uh, vector spaces uh, bases uh, linearly independent vectors linearly independent vectors um then linear transformations of coordinates coordinates of the vector uh, with respect to uh, some basis say b uh, and uh, we have transition matrix transition matrix then uh, linear transformations i hope these are uh, familiar things for you uh, if not please uh, prompt you uh, if you really wish uh, some discussion from these topics when we start with that and uh, 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 gradually eventually we go to the uh, other things okay so please uh, can you tell uh, do you want any discussion on these topics or uh, you are aware of these things somebody says that like that and we can go accordingly these are familiar things i hope uh, you might have studied these things in your uh, degree graduate classes uh, so we if you really want any discussion please uh, ask me to discuss about that then we can discuss the, the things and then we can uh, move to the uh, next sessions uh, so probably i will start with the definition of the vector space we all know uh, the a vector space is uh, set together with a binary operation we call that as a vector addition uh, and along with a scalar multiplication so that means if you choose an alpha from a v and some c from uh, let me correct that al alpha by that v that is what we have Uh, discussed in your syllabus so probably you use this letter v v belongs to capital v that the set an empty set and c belongs to the corresponding underlying field uh, then scalar multiplication means we assign an element uh, say c v uh, this is also an element of v so this is this type of uh, operation is called the scalar multiplication so a set v an empty set v together with a, a vector addition and scalar multiplication that is defined like this multiplication so if these algebraic vectors satisfy some axioms uh, say v under addition should be an abelian group and uh, some uh, uh, distributive properties say uh, if you choose a c and v from v1 plus v2 then we have c v1 plus c v2 uh, similarly one uh, belongs to f implies that one times any v that will be v itself for all v belongs to the vector space the underlying set capital v and uh, similarly we have another uh, distributive property c1 plus c2 times uh, some vector v that will be c1 v plus c2 v and so on so these are the axioms uh, for the vector space so a set non empty set together with these two operations that is in a nutshell we can write it as v under addition is an abelian group and there is an f underlying f and there will be a scalar multiplication these are the requirement of a vector space along with these axioms scalar multiplication then we call that algebraic vector as a vector space so this is the uh, vector space so some simple examples are uh, r2 
say R cos R uh, along with coordinate wise operation. The addition is like this A, B, C, D. This, these two ordered pairs can be operated using the rule A plus C and X plus C comma B plus D. Generally, uh, if you choose an element, uh, say uh, alpha times alpha is a scalar or C is a scalar, in, instead of C, uh, I've been using the C in this vector part, then uh, I re uh, replace that C by uh, another scalar, say alpha. Uh, alpha times some A, B that can be written as alpha times A, alpha times B. So actually, this is the uh, scalar multiplication and vector addition of uh, this vector space. Uh, uh, this R cross R along with these two operations that will be a uh, vector space. So you might have uh, seen these uh, examples in your uh, graduate classes. Uh, in the similar fashion, you can uh, collect so many examples uh, for these vector spaces. And uh, another interesting example is polynomials. Uh, if you consider set of all uh, functions of the form a naught a one plus a one x plus etc. a n x raised to n. Uh, where a n belongs to uh, some field. Uh, for instance, I take capital R, the real set of the reals. So this collection, so this n is an element of uh, natural numbers. So if you have natural number, of course, is union zero. Uh, so this this is set of all polynomials. So if you choose uh, and if you choose n as 1, then we we'll get a linear polynomial. Uh, for the values of n, we can define the degree of that polynomial. Uh, then this is a, I call this as capital P. This is a set of all polynomials. So this is another example of a, a vector space. Okay, so these are two uh, interest, interesting examples for a vector space. Uh, in the coming, later we'll discuss what, what are the uh, interesting, interesting fact, uh, facts on these two uh, vector spaces. Uh, similarly, uh, we can, uh, if you consider any two vectors, say v1 and v2 from this v, uh, we can define the independence of these vectors. Okay. So, uh, if we have scalars, uh, suppose alpha times v1 plus uh, beta times v2 uh, equal to zero, uh, this alpha v1 plus beta v2 uh, yield zero only when alpha and beta are zero. So uh, these kind of vectors, are, V1 and V2, are called uh, linearly independent vectors. Okay, so this is in case of two, uh, two vectors. If you have a, uh, instead of two vectors, if you choose an n, n number of vectors from a vector space uh, V, then uh, the only uh, scalars which yield alpha 1, V1 plus, etc., alpha and Vn, uh, 0 implies uh, these vector, these scalars are all, only these zeros. Okay? So that means whenever this expression is zero, uh, only when the scalars are called zero. Okay? So these kind of vectors, these set of vectors are called linearly independent vectors. So otherwise we call this linearly dependent vectors. Okay? So uh, for example, if we choose uh, two vectors like uh, one zero and zero one from uh, our previous example, uh, then we can easily find, uh, su suppose we uh, consider the combination of these two uh, vectors, uh, in fact, linear combination, alpha times 1, 0 plus beta times 1, 0, 1. Uh, if this is 0, then we can easily find that uh, LHS must be uh, alpha comma beta. And in order to get this is 0, 0, that alpha and beta will be 0. These are the only possible scalars, alpha and beta, for which uh, this expression is zero. Okay, so uh, we can consider this one zero and zero one as linearly independent vectors. Okay, uh, on the other hand, if you have uh, two vectors, say one zero and uh, what is it, two zero, then we can find another set of uh, scalars. Say uh, if you call two and one, these are scalars. Uh, if you consider the 1, 0 is an element of R2, similarly this is an element of R2, then we choose scalars from reals, then we have two reals, uh, none of them are 0, one, 2 and 1, 2 times 1, 0 plus 1 times 2, 0, that will yield, sorry, minus 1 times 2, 0, that will yield, uh, what is the first term? First term will be 2, 0, and second term will be 
uh, minus two comma zero, that will give zero zero. So the combination of the vectors one zero and two zero yield zero zero uh, without choosing without uh, getting uh, coefficients as zero. Okay, obviously zero times one zero, zero times two zero will give zero zero. But there are scalars other than zero zero such that the linear combination is again zero. So these kinds, these kind of vectors one zero two zero cannot be considered as a, considered as linearly independent vectors. Okay, so this is the concept of uh, linearly independent vectors and linearly uh, dependent vectors. So once you have uh, linearly independent vectors, uh, suppose we have uh, if you consider uh, one zero. Uh, belongs to R2, then we can easily extend this set of a non zero vector to a linearly independent set of vectors in R2. That means if we choose 1, 0, then collect all the multiples of this 1, 0. Okay, that means if you have all the multiple of 1, 0 like this, so that will be of the form alpha gamma 0. If you pick another vector, uh, other than this one zero, and that is not from the set of all vectors of the form alpha comma zero. Okay, so if we choose a vector other than this alpha comma zero, okay, so you consider a vector, you consider a vector uh, AB which does not belong to, is not a member of. Uh, alpha comma zero where alpha belongs to. Once you choose such a vector, uh, for instance, that vector um, might be zero comma some three or like that. Okay, this never be a member of this alpha comma zero because in this set, uh, the second component of every vector is zero. So if we are, if we choose zero comma three, that will not be a member of this set. So obviously, this is not a member of this set that means 0 comma 3 is not a multiple of this alpha this, uh, this 1 comma 0 so if you attach this 0 comma 3 to this set then you will get or you can extend a, a set of uh, one linearly independent vectors to a set of two linearly independent vectors that means we can extend this set to another linearly independent set which contains more vectors than the original set okay now if you have a set a set of all linear combination of these two vectors say alpha times one zero plus beta times zero three okay so thus that will be uh, a set of all linear combination of one zero and uh, this zero three that is alpha comma three beta. This is the form of those vectors where alpha, beta are scalars from rails. Okay, so if you are able to pick a vector AB other than this vector, this set of vectors, then that AB would be linearly independent if we attach that to this set. But in fact, there is no such vector. If there exists such a vector, then we can extend this set to another set of linearly independent uh, vectors containing more than two elements. Okay. In this case, in fact, this AB is a linear combination of this. If you take any AB, you can easily find, if you take any AB, then you can easily find uh, this alpha and beta such that, or there exists some alpha and beta such that alpha times one zero plus beta times zero three. That means all the vectors of R2 uh, can be expressed as the linear combination of 1, 0, and 0. Otherwise, we can extend, obviously. Otherwise, we can extend this set of uh, linearly independent vectors of uh, two vectors of uh, R2 uh, can be extended. But in this case, we can uh, easily find that any AB can be expressed as a linear combination of 1, 0, and 0, 3. That means every AB belongs to R2 is a linear combination of 1, 0, and 0, 3. That means we cannot extend 
a set of two linearly independent vectors to a larger set of linearly independent vectors. In this case, or this concept can be uh, termed as spanning property. Okay, that means if there is no other ve no vector other than uh, this one zero and zero three, which is linearly independent to this, then we can say that this set spans spans R two. That means any element of R two, any vector of R two, is a linear combination of these two things. Okay. So once you have, otherwise you can extend. Obviously, uh, if you take uh, uh, R three, uh, if you take R three, then you have one zero zero. This is an element of R three. Suppose you have another linearly independent vector, say zero one zero. Uh, this is a the this set is linearly independent, uh, consisting of uh, consisting of two vectors. And you can easily find if you consider all the uh, linear combination of these two vectors. Say these are the set of all combination linear combination of uh, these two vectors. Then obviously this is this takes the form uh, alpha beta zero, where alpha comma beta belongs to rings. So now obviously we can find another vector, say zero zero one. This is not a member of this set. So obviously this is a linear form. This is a uh, this is a linearly independent vectors to these two elements. So we can extend this one zero 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 one zero and zero zero one. Then we can get since this zero zero one is not a member of this set, then we can easily find that this is a linearly independent vector to this one zero zero and zero one zero. Now you can extend this set to a set of uh, three linearly independent vectors. So uh, whenever this uh, process uh, terminates, then uh, you will be with a set of linearly independent vectors. That set will be the maximal in number. You can you cannot extend uh, further more. Then we can consider this is the maximal linearly independent set of vectors. Such a such a set of vectors uh, is called basis vectors. Okay, so these are the uh, fundamental. Uh, this uh, before that we uh, consider this base. Why we consider this basis vectors? The, what is the advantage of this? The advantage of this basis vectors is nothing but you can take any A B C belongs to the corresponding or underlying vector space. Then this A B C is a linear combination of uh, these three basis vectors. I call these vectors as v1, v2, and v3. Then you can easily find that uh, this v3. And we can easily find that any ABC is a linear combination of uh, v1, v2, v3. Because when you consider when you multiply v1 with a and v2 with b and v3 with c respectively. And sum up all these three vectors, then you will get A B C. That means any a vector A B C can be expressed as a linear combination of these basis vectors. Okay, so once you've got the basis vectors, then you can easily get uh, these A B C scalars, which can be used to express A B C as a linear combination. Okay, so uh, for example, if you consider one, two, three. Okay, uh, this is a, an element of R three, and you take a basis vector uh, one zero zero. This is a set of base vectors. There are so many base vectors. Uh, other uh, base vectors are there. So if you consider a basis one zero zero, that means a maximal linearly independent subset of R three. So next is one one zero. Uh, next is uh, one zero one zero zero one. So these are all uh, linearly independent vectors. So these are the maximal. Then any one, two, three can be expressed as the linear combination of these things. Okay. So uh, there exists alpha. You can easily find alpha, beta, gamma in such a way that alpha times one zero zero, beta times uh, one one zero, and gamma times zero zero one. So that must be alpha plus uh, beta, comma, uh, beta, comma, uh, 
come. This is the sum of this because when you multiply this thing, the first first entry will be alpha here. Here the first entry will be beta. Here the first entry will be zero itself. So when you sum up all these three things, you will get alpha plus beta as the first component. When you observe the second components, alpha times zero, beta times one, gamma times zero. So that will give beta itself. And the third component, the first component, the first uh, from the first time we will get zero. The second time we will get zero. The last time we will get gamma. Okay. So in order to uh, get alpha, beta, gamma, we can easily solve this. Okay. Obviously, gamma, the value of gamma is three. Uh, from this, the value of gamma uh, beta is two, and the value of alpha will be uh, from this. We can directly get alpha plus beta as one, and we know that what is beta. Okay. So then from this, we can write alpha is equal to one minus beta. Beta is two, so one minus two that is minus one. That means if you write one two three, then this one two three has another expression in terms of our basis vectors one zero zero. One one zero 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 one. That means minus one times one zero zero plus two times one one zero plus three times zero zero one. So in fact, these quantities, as far as one two three, the vector one two three is concerned, minus one two three. These three quantities are scalars. So we pick up all these three scalars. So according to Or corresponding to this one, two, three. Okay, when we consider the vector one, two, three, we can uniquely obtain another scalars, say minus one, two, three. So this is obtained by considering these basis vectors. So let me call this as basis B. Then these are the uh, scalars of One two three scalars related to one two three. When you consider the basis B, so we call this is the coordinates. Coordinates of one two three relative to the basis B. So uh, we use this basis. So when you uh, interchange this these two vectors, first you write one one zero, uh, then one zero zero in the second place. Then you will get another set like this: two minus one three. So this scalars in the order two minus one three. If you uh, interchange these two vectors, so when you consider a basis uh, set of uh, linearly independent maximal set, a set of linearly independent vectors, then the ordering of such a uh, vectors are very important. Okay, because when you consider one two three, then once you get uh, if you define uh, corresponding to one two three, if you define a Matrix uh, like this minus one two three, then uh, the, for the corresponding to the same one two three, you will get another matrix if you interchange these two things. Okay, uh, I'll call this as some u one, u two, u three. These are the basis vectors. If you interchange the position of this u two and u three, then you will get another matrix. Okay, uh, if you consider these two uh, quantities are matrices, then these two matrices are entirely different matrices. Okay, so the ordering of these uh, basis vectors are very important. So in that case, we call this as an ordered basis. Ordered basis. Okay, so these are the uh, things we need to uh, uh, discuss for getting a matrix of a uh, linear transformation. So next, we move on to the matrix of a linear transformation. So these, these are the things we have. Uh, discuss here. Now we will discuss uh, transition matrix and uh, linear transformation, etc. So, what is the uh, meaning of transition matrix? So, the transition matrix is nothing but uh, if you consider uh, R two, the simplest vector space is this. Uh, then there are two. There are so many bases, but but I consider two bases. First one is one zero. And second one is second base vector is zero one. These are obviously these are linearly independent because uh, if you consider alpha and beta, then uh, the combination will yield zero only when alpha and beta are zero. And if you have another vector, another basis consisting of vectors one zero, comma one one. Okay. Uh, the interesting fact is, 
if you have any alpha or any v say ab is a member of r2 obviously this ab can be expressed as in terms of 1001 and in terms of 101 so once you write ab is equal to 8 times 10 i'll i'll call this uh, basic vectors as v1 uh, and and uh, the next member as v2 and uh, for the second basis i call this is u1 and u2 okay so ab can be written as uh, u1 and u2 so you write ab is nothing but v1 a times v1 plus v times v2 okay but uh, in terms of u1 u2 how will write ab okay ab is uh, actually uh, ab should be a linear combination of this right so i'll i'll write this is uh, 10 plus something times 11 so obviously the second term will be b okay then this will be i think uh, the, the, the way we evaluate this thing is i'll explain that procedure also how will you find that so in order to get the scalars we just write alpha and beta first then you write this is left side is ab and what is the right side right side will be this is alpha plus beta and the second term will the second component will be beta itself that's why i write a uh, beta is the second scalar will be a uh, b itself and you solve the next uh, first uh, equation uh, that is a is equal to alpha plus beta from this you can get uh, alpha alpha is nothing but a minus beta in fact that is a minus b because beta is b here so uh, in in fact this ab uh, is nothing but a minus b times 10 uh, say u1 for the one for one the vector 10 we can in this basis we uh, put 10 as u1 and 11 as u2 so this is u1 plus b times u2 that means if you have this ab here for the the same ab we have the coordinate of ab relative to we uh, write that as if b is the uh, vector ab then coordinate of b relative to the base uh, b1 is nothing but ab itself but the coordinate of b relative to b2 that is not ab that is in fact a minus b and b okay then what is the relation between these two coordinates okay so these are the coordinates of the same vector relative to two distinct bases okay so in this case we can easily find if this is ab and we can connect these two bases we can easily find a matrix here okay we can connect this uh, these two coordinates that is ab and a minus b comma a minus b b uh, with a matrix an n by matrix here is this 2 by 2 matrix so this is 1 minus 1 0 1 Okay, sorry. I'll find how to find this matrix. Okay, there is a matrix. Say, I'll call this matrix as P. So, uh, how will you evaluate this P? That's a question. This P is called transition matrix. First of all, I uh, put it as P transition matrix. How will you find this transition matrix? I write P as uh, some alpha beta gamma delta then how will you find this that's the first thing in order to get this matrix you first write uh, what are the basis vectors here uh, i take this is the first basis vector okay and these are the uh, basis vectors here then we choose 10 at this u1 and this can be expressed as as it is a member of r2 this can be expressed as a linear combination of v1 and v2 okay so this is something into v1 plus that is something into v2 okay so how will you write this 10 as a, a linear combination of v1 and v2 so that will be uh, 1 times v1 and 0 times v2 okay, this is obvious 1 times v1 is 10 0 times v2 is 0 itself then when you sum up these two things then you will get 10 itself 
Similarly, if we have u2, we take an element from the second basis vector v2, that is 1, 1. How will you write this is a linear combination of v1 and v2? In order to get this uh, 1, 1, we write uh, first thing is 1 and second thing is 1. When you sum these two vectors, you will get 1, 1. Okay. So corresponding to actually this uh, u1 can be expressed as a linear combination of v1, v2. u2 can be expressed as a linear combination of uh, again v1 and v2. Then you will get scalar. Then you call this uh, met, uh, the coordinates of u1, coordinates of u1 relative to b. Okay, b1. So what is the coordinate of u1 related to b1? Uh, that is actually 1, 0. Okay. Similarly, what is the coordinate of u2 related to b1? That is actually 1. Clear? Yeah. So, uh, if you consider these two vectors as columns of this p, okay, when you write this is 1, 0 and 1. Okay. So, this is our p. That means if we have a b equal to 1 1 0 1 into a minus b b. So you can easily verify that when you multiply these two things, the first entry will be uh, 1 times a minus b, 1 times b. That will be a itself. The second term will be b. So this is in fact an identity. That means you can easily find this p, this matrix p, okay, which satisfies or which connects the coordinate of an arbitrary vector v relative to two distinct bases. Okay. Such a matrix is called transition matrix. Okay. This is the way we ob uh, obtain uh, that transition matrix. Uh, in the general case, uh, if we have two basis vectors, uh, say b1, uh, consisting of vectors v1, etc., vn, and another base vector u1, etc., un. Then how will you find p? That p is equal to pij. This is obtained by uh, by the equation u1 can be expressed as some p11, v1, p21, p2, etc. p1 and okay. similarly un. Un can be written as p n. This is P and 1. Okay, this. P and 1. Because once you got this uh, 1, 0 here, then we put it as a column. So corresponding to U1, we will get scalars and we will consider that as a first column of the matrix. So if you have U1, then there are scalars and these scalars are considered as the first column of the matrix P. That's why I write P11, P21, etc., Pn1, because uh, these uh, scalars uh, come as the uh, column of P. So the last one will be P1n, uh, U1, V1, etc., Pnn. So this is the way we define the matrix P. Okay. Now uh, we move on to uh, linear transformations. If we consider a linear transformation from uh, vector space V to W, okay, so this is a linear transformation from V to W. Obviously, you might have seen the definition of the vector uh, linear transformation. Uh, we have alpha, uh, two vectors V1 and V2, uh, then uh, T of C times V1 plus V2 will be C times TV1 plus TV2 for all V1, V2 belongs to V. Uh, this is the definition of linear transmission. So any function from V1, V2, W to satisfy this condition is called linear transmission. Okay. So once you have a uh, linear transmission, then you can, obviously there are so many theorems regarding this linear transmission. Uh, one fundamental theorem of, uh, theorem of linear algebra is Ryan theorem. So that is a uh, obvious theorem. Uh, if we have a linear transformation like this, then uh, we can uh, immediately define the kernel of T and, and range of T. 
in the other words this kernel is same as all space all space of t uh, this is the range of t uh, then dimensionality obviously these are subspaces of these are subspaces if, if this t is a uh, linear transformation from uh, v to w if all this is v and this is w and this is t uh, then uh, the range what is the range range t is defined as set of all t alpha such that t v such that t belongs to v okay. so obviously this range t is a subspace of w a codomain and kernel kernel t or null space t that is defined to be set of all v such that uh, t v is equal to 0 so this v is a member of capital v and t v is a member of w so basically this is a subspace of so this is kernel t and this will be the subspace of w the range t. okay the theorem regarding this is a uh, dimension of kernel kernel t plus dimension of range t being uh, these both are the subspaces of distinct vector spaces uh, the first one is uh, the subspace of v and the later is the subspace of w itself so this will be the dimension of the domain vector space so this is the famous theorem this is what we call uh, rt theorem uh, uh, rank nullity theorem this is rank nullity theorem this is a fundamental this this theorem is considered as the fundamental theorem of Uh, linear algebra. So the first thing is, uh, if you consider a linear transformation T uh, from uh, V to W, both are finite dimensional vector spaces. Finite dimensional vector spaces. Then V will have a basis, say B or B1, consists of B1, etc., Vn. And since this W is also a finite dimensional vector space, then there is another base vector for this W, uh, say uh, W1, etc., Wm. The dimensions of V and W need not be the same, so that's why I take N and M are distinct. So once you have this, these two bases, then uh, this t, since this T V1 is a member of W. Okay, since this T is a linear transformation from B to W, then T V1 is ob obviously a member of W. Since B2 is a basis, T V1 can be expressed as a linear combination of these basis vectors. Okay, so uh, this T1, T V1 will be uh, written as some A11 W1 plus A21 W2 plus etc. A. There are m vectors, so obviously there are m scalars. A M1 W. The similar fashion, you can write T V two, T V three, etc. So T V n. Last we have T V n. That is A one, A M one, W one, A M two, W two, etc. A M n, W n. Okay. So uh, once you have a linear transformation T and pick two bases from V and W respectively, say B one and B two. Then you have these much scalars. Okay, there are m n scalars are there. So using these m n scalars, you can easily define a matrix. Okay, so that matrix is a matrix of linear transformation T, and relative to this matrix is relative to uh, two bases, one from B one, one from B, uh, say B one, and another is from W, say B two. So the uh, the matrix we are going to uh, define. Uh, Related to all these three things, okay. So if you define this matrix as A I J A one one A one two etc A one n A two one etc A m one this is A two etc A m two etc A two m etc A m A two n etc A m n Okay, uh, this is the first thing. First one is obtained from these scalars. Okay, I will write this first column. First column is this 
coordinates of tv1 relative to v2 okay so we, this matrix can also be uh, remembered like this the first column of this matrix will be uh, if we pick a v1 uh, a basis vector from v1 then uh, consider the coordinate of that t alpha 1 tv1 corresponding to v2 similarly take v2 and evaluate tv2 and consider the coordinates of tv2 relative to the basis b2 etc so tv n we have b okay. so each column contains m vector m scalars so this will be an m by n matrix okay so this matrix is called the matrix of p relative to the basis b1 and b2 so this matrix can be defined for every linear transformation from v and w v to w yeah so what is the interesting fact on this this is nothing but if you have uh, if you have, if you consider set of all linear transformation from v to w set of all t uh, from v to w t is a linear transformation transformation we call this we consider this as uh, lbw so this set of all linear transformation from v to w we uh, put it as lbw and we consider set of all uh, m by n matrix over f that is denoted by this symbol f m by n So this consists of set of all m by n matrices, say A I J, such that this is an m by n matrix A I J from F. What is this F? This F is the field underlying field of this vector space. In order to de define a vector space, we need to uh, take a field. Uh, we call uh, we uh, here we take the same vector uh, same set of scalars say fields f for both this v and w okay so this is set of all linear transformation from v to w uh, you can easily verify that it's a uh, vector space similarly set of all m by n matrices over f is also a uh, vector space the interesting fact is these two vector spaces are isomorphic okay you can consider any linear transformation as the corresponding matrix Okay, you might have seen this is in uh, undergraduate level as some theorems. So the interesting fact is, you need not uh, carry over all these uh, properties of linear transformation. You just study that uh, study the properties of matrices. That's enough to study this vector space L B W. So that is the interesting fact on this. So once immediately after defining this uh, matrix of a linear transformation uh, from V to W, then you can uh, get the correspondence the isomorphic correspondence between two vector spaces that is set of all linear transformations and uh, the next is set of all uh, m by n matrices the interesting fact is uh, for the further study uh, if you are going to study the uh, eigen value eigen vectors and so, something like that you need not worry about the linear transformation and rule of that function but you consider only that matrices the eigen value and eigen vectors of these linear transformation t is exactly the same as eigen value and eigen vectors of the corresponding matrices okay so uh, the interesting fact is uh, next is the uh, very important part of the uh, discussion so next we discuss what are the relations between this matrix and linear transformation so, uh, here uh, this is the definition only so next we immediately uh, immediately uh, discuss the properties of uh, this linear transformation and the corresponding matrix okay that means if you have two such linear transformation p and u obviously both have two matrices say a and b how will you define matrix of uh, t that is in this that is nothing but this this situation this is a matrix of p relative to uh, a basis okay so uh, if you consider uh, This two linear transformations T and U, then there are corresponding matrices. Then, what is the then immediate? We can easily find what is P plus U, right? Sum of uh, two linear transformations. This is defined as P V plus U V. 
Okay, so this is the sum of two linear transmission T and L. The similar fashion, you can define scalar multiplication of a linear transmission. So uh, C T of V is obtained by C times T of V. So if you consider these two operations on linear transmissions, then we can easily find the relation between the corresponding. Uh, in order to get a matrix of a linear transformation, we need to set a set uh, basis vectors. So we have basis vectors B1 and B2. Fact is, matrix of T plus U uh, relative to the basis vectors, say B1 and B2. Okay. So obviously, this T, comma, U, uh, both are linear transformation from B to W. Uh, these two are finite energy vector spaces over a common field F. Okay, so then we can discuss about the matrix of T plus U relative to B1, B2. That is obviously matrix of T corresponding to B1, B2 plus matrix of U relative to B1, B2. That means the matrix of the sum of two linear transformations is same as the sum of the matrices of the corresponding transformations. There is an one interesting fact. The sim in the similar fashion, you can easily uh, obtain this fact. The matrix of CT relative to B1, B2, that is nothing but C times matrix of T relative to B1, B2. That means the properties of the linear transmission that can be same as the properties of uh, matrices also. Uh, now we can define two uh, linear transmission. One is from uh, V to W, and U is from W to Z. These are three vector spaces. Uh, these three vector spaces are over the common field F. Uh, suppose we can define this uh, U composition T. U composition T is from V to Z. Suppose the composition is also defined. Okay, so this T is uh, U composition T is a uh, linear transmission from the domain of T to the co-domain of U. Okay, so once you can you are able to define this composition, then the, the in fact this composition is usually denoted as U T. Okay, U T denotes U composition T. Then the matrix of U T. Okay. Suppose in order to define the matrices of U, U and T, we need to set the basis for V, W, and Z. So I call there are three base, basis uh, set of bases, base vectors B1. This is for B2, and for Z we have B2, B3. So uh, since this UT is a linear transformation from B2 Z, then this is the matrix of UT relative to basis vectors B1 and B3, and this is obtained by Multiplying the corresponding matrices, matrix of U relative to uh, B to B3, multiplied with matrix of T relative to B1, B2. Okay, so these are the interesting facts on the ma uh, matrix representation of uh, this uh, linear transformations. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, in this case, we have. Uh, these are uh, these all these results are stored in your uh, study materials itself. So please go through it. Uh, uh, the proofs are not so uh, hard, so you can easily uh, follow all these the, all the steps of these uh, theorems. And the in, next interesting fact is here we discussed uh, linear transformations, two distinct linear transformations. Okay, so T and U from V to W. Similarly, T U from uh, V to W and W to Z. And so on. So the, in these in all these discussion discussions, we have two distinct linear transformations. Okay. The next fact is, if you consider uh, a, a same a unique linear transformation T, uh, let it be a member of LBV. What is LBV? That is denoted by L of V. That is the set of a linear transformation from V to V itself. Okay. So this is uh, point as set of all 
ಇಟ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಕೋಪರೇಟಿವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ವಿ ಟು ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಟ್ ದ ಡೆಫಿನಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಸೋ ವನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಟಿ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ವಿ ಚೂಸ್ ಟೂ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಸೆ ಬಿ ಒನ್ ಬಿ ಟು ಟೂ ಡಿಸ್ಟಿಂಕ್ಟ್ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೇಸಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ okay so what is interesting fact the fact is you can easily find obviously there is a matrix related to p1 b1 because t is from v to v then there is a matrix related to b1 b1 so uh, for the for this matrix we need not worry about or we need not write b1 twice we just write to uh, matrix of t related to b1 so this represents this matrix similarly you can define matrix of t relative to b2 b2 so once you uh, fix this b2 then you can easily find the matrix of t related to b2 b2 and that is denoted by matrix of t related to b2 so what is the relation between these two in this discussion there is only one linear transformation and we have distinct basis okay, rather than two distinct linear transformations that means we take two distinct basis p1 and b2 and a single linear transformation t then what is the relation between these two matrices these are all matrices matrix related to uh, b1 matrix related to b2 then how will you connect this thing okay this is an interesting thing so this can also be connected through a matrix okay so this is a matrix b1 related to b1 and this is another matrix of t related to b2 okay so the interesting fact is this can be connected through a square matrix p such that p inverse this matrix p is equal to this what is the meaning of this for a single linear transformation there are two distinct bases then corresponding to each basis there are matrices matrix representation for t those two matrices that means the matrices of the same linear transformation can be connected through a square matrix an n by n square matrix obviously if, if this is an n by n matrix this is a uh, vector space of dimension n and this is an n by n matrix there exists an n by n matrix such that matrix of t related to b1 is equal to p inverse matrix of t related to b2 p okay that means this kind of relation is called similarity relation okay what do you mean by similarity if you can connect two matrices a and b using a non singular matrix non singular matrix means a square matrix with a determinant not equal to zero suppose corresponding to any two n by n matrix a and b suppose there is a matrix p such that p inverse b p is same as a okay then we call these a and b are similar matrices similar matrices okay so such a relation is called a similarity relation so we can conclude that uh, any two matrix representation of t if we can arbitrarily choose b1 and b2 two uh, distinct bases for uh, this uh, t uh, this v and we consider two matrices matrices related to b1 and matrices related to b2 both are both can be connected through a non singular matrix with this relation this relation is called similarity relation okay in this case we can say that a and b are similar matrices obviously once you have this relation we can easily write b as if you transpose all these p inverse and p to the left hand side you will get p a p inverse and this can be written as p inverse all inverse a p inverse that means if you put p inverse as q then q inverse a that means whenever a can be connected through this equation then in the similar fashion you can uh, you can get this b as q inverse a q for another uh, non singular matrix okay so this is what we call uh, similar matrix similar matrices so any uh, two distinct 
uh, matrices or relative to matrix related to two distinct bases of a same linear transformation uh, that can be uh, connected through this or there will be a similarity relation so another term is uh, diagonal diagonal acidity that is an uh, some consequence of this relation so suppose we have uh, uh, we can uh, do some problem like this I'll, I'll consider t of x y uh, Z, uh, this is defined as x, x plus y, and how we can write with this? Uh, 0 to Z. So, this is a typical linear transmission from R3 to R3. Okay, so I choose 1, 0. 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. as basis vectors, say B. So once you have a basis vector, uh, you can easily find the matrix of T relative to B. How do you obtain the columns of this matrix? To get the columns of this matrix, you first take first vector, T of 1, 0, 0, then use this rule that will give 100 itself and you write the image of 100 that is 100 itself as a linear combination of these three vectors so that will be i'll put it as v1 v2 v3 so this is 1 times v1 0 times v2 0 times v3 so the first column will be 100 okay Similarly, you consider the second vector, 0, 1, 0. So that is, uh, the image is 0, 0, 0. If you uh, follow this rule, 1, 0, 0 is mapped to 0, 0, 0. Okay? So that is same as 0 times V1, 0 times V1, plus 0 times V2, 0 times V2. So the second one must be 0, 0. Similarly, you can evaluate P of 0, 0, 1, that is obviously 0, 0, 1 itself, that will be 0 times V1, 0 times V2, and 1 times V3. So this is 0, 0, 1. Okay. When you observe this matrix, so corresponding to this linear transformation, there exists a basis B, and we obtain the matrix corresponding to that basis. So this is look like a diagonal matrix, right? That means the, uh, all the entries except on the diagonals are zero. Okay, this kind of a matrices are called diagonal matrices. Diagonal matrices. So for any linear transmission T, if there exists a B consists of this property. That means there is a matrix B such that whose ma matrix representation is a diagonal matrix. Then if there are, if there exists such a uh, basis, then this T is defined as diagonalizable, diagonalizable, diagonalizable linear transformation. Because if you consider another uh, set of uh, basis vectors, uh, say 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 0, 0, one. If you consider another set of B uh, base vectors, say B2, then you represent a matrix, uh, your transmission T as a matrix, then this need not be diagonal. Okay, there are so many uh, bases are there. If you consider all those bases, then uh, all the those bases never uh, will, uh, will not give the diagonal matrix. But there are some some basis vectors. Okay, that will give the diagonal matrix. Okay, if there is at least one basis vectors which will give a diagonal representation, then that linear transformation can be considered as diagonalizable linear transformation. Okay, so what is the important uh, uh, fact on this? That means if you have any T relative to B and there exists another basis vector B1, this is a diagonal matrix. Okay, that means uh, in this case, if you consider B, then this is a diagonal matrix. If you have another arbitrary basis 
then this can be connected through a non single matrix then we can say this if there exists such a b then this is a diagonalizable the similar fashion if we have a and b okay were or a and b and a is diagonal matrix and any met any matrix which satisfies this condition okay b inverse p inverse bp then we can consider this a is diagonal this b need not be diagonal but this b is similar to a diagonal matrix then this matrix b is also considered as a diagonalizable matrix okay so uh, in the very similar fashion uh, that we uh, discussed linear transformation is diagonalizable we can define the diagonalizability of two matrices as well okay so i think uh, i might stop here if you have any doubt we can discuss uh, for 5 minutes otherwise you can uh, send me through mail or uh, whatsapp we can discuss through that so i would like to stop here Uh, if you have any doubts please ask right now otherwise we can continue uh those are i think uh, there are no questions so we can move on to the next session नमस्ते सर डॉक्टर दीदी मोर नमस्ते डॉक्टर टॉम मगी आई एम प्रोफेसर सुजाता वर्मा आई एम फ्रॉम मैथमेटिक्स फैकल्टी ऑफ इग्नो स्कूल ऑफ साइंसेस गुड इवनिंग गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग आई एम नॉट एबल टू हियर सर डॉक्टर टॉम Good evening, good evening. Yeah, good evening. I will. I would like to know from some of the students. Can some students uh, give at least a chat to us or uh, any uh, put some question? Hello. Yes. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, definitely, sir. <laughs> okay, namaste. Uh, namaste, very much. So, uh, I am really grateful to our <laughs> doctor Didi Mo Sir for presenting me beautifully the class regarding the linear algebra. Sir, we are very thankful Thank you, to your excellent class, and uh, now it is actually the golden opportunity for the students to interact with uh, Dr. Didi Mos. If anybody is there, we can give some time. Otherwise, we will start our next program. How many of the students are prepared for the linear algebra? Now your exams are going to be there in the next month. So I am sure that you would have some doubt. Can you just share how your uh, the expert is already there in linear algebra? It would be very nice if you can share some questions with us. Your difficulty area, any concept you are not able to solve. 
Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Uh, sir, sir. Uh, uh, Dr. Gupta, uh, thank you. 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 Is it clear? Ma'am, please tell. Please. Yeah. Uh, are the students writing to you regarding any mail so that they are not able to understand a particular uh, block, particular concept? Or uh, are you getting any uh, uh, mail? No, 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 ma'am. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No? Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, and uh, now you are uh, checking their assignments also, I'm sure that. Yes. Uh, yeah. So any students, they are not able to, anyway, they are not uh, interacting with us. So it would be very nice if anybody can give a chat to us or at least, uh, are they able to hear us? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, may I know you, please? Arya, Srinu? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Hello, hi. Yeah. So you have listened to what Dr. Didi Moser has said that. Yes, yeah. yes. You have any question related to that or any other concept related to that? So that uh, are you comfortable with that linear transformation? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. That class was so good. Uh, I understand that. Yeah. Hmm. So you want to ask anything to sir? Any other? Uh, problem solving problems you are facing in that have you attempted any problem regarding that or the first time you are listening to the sir have you gone through that earlier uh huh. while, while submitting assignments uh go through that problems so when why while we hear the class so it was so easier to understand so you are able to follow that huh. So any other area in linear algebra you have faced problem? Uh, yeah. um, this class was so, this uh, from this class uh, I am uh, I am okay. Yeah, you are very you know, comfortable with that. Uh, comfortable. So, I think it's for all the students. If you are attempting problems, exercises, and that, at least please write to sir saying that you are not able to. Um, um, uh, so far, I think the things that. Sometimes you are not able to comprehend the question itself and some of the definitions you are not able to cope up with that. This is some of the observations we have the feedback from the students. So how many of the definitions you have already able to understand that? Are you able to give an example in that concept related to that satisfying that property? Or are you able to identify if this thing which does not satisfy all these problem, problem solving Understanding the definition is uh, really going to help you to uh, write the uh, term and examination also. Assignments, probably you have access to all the books around or you have so many other uh, accessibility is there. But the term and examination, you, you are, I, I am sure that the first, are you going to write the exam for the first time? All the students are new batch. Hello? Yes, ma'am. We are writing for, we are so, first yes. students. Uh, Jan 20, uh, 23 batch, no? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, 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 are the students from the earlier batch also? No, no. There are no students, no? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, are you, uh, one typical question usually coming in that uh, question paper is a true false question. State whether the following statements are true or false. Justify your answer. All these questions carry two marks. There, your conceptual understanding, definition, and uh, different theorems, different properties in that are all set. So, please read the question and try to make it whether you can, whether if you agree with, to that question, you give a reason for that. If you don't agree with that question, sometimes just not agreeing, writing that. That, that is not true or false is not enough. You have to give a counter example justifying that such things is not possible. 
so these are some of the things that uh, uh, we would like to reiterate while you are attempt uh, going to write the examinations regarding this course i will be elaborating more about this in the real analysis course so now sir has already talked to you about the linear algebra part so i would like you to go through the question papers very clearly and try to understand uh, relate that with the block which we have already given it from where the question has come what is the nature of the question is it just applying the some properties of that particular concept or is it uh, like sir has talked about the basis and all that the linear transformation and uh, different basis in that so uh, how many of you are comfortable with basis of a vector space you please recall from your earlier studies or you recall from your um, undergraduate so all these things are very important while understanding the linear algebra i am not that thinking about linear algebra but, but sir has already explained i'll be talking about real analysis so uh, again i am repeating that in linear algebra if you have any question related to that please write to sir sir will definitely will help you go through the question papers and relay, uh, go back to the uh, uh, booklets and identify that from where the question has come and what is the nature of that question so that kind of a study we is going to help you out okay any other questions i i, I can see some other students and maria salu hello ananda krishna no i think they are not so can we wind up this linear algebra sir hello hello ma'am yeah can we wind up uh, this linear algebra session and can i go to the real analysis part i am in this section please please yeah you have uh, what do you want to ask please hello can you if the matrix is given in question if the matrix yeah. is given then how can we find hello how can we find the matrix is diagonalizable or oh, not uh, sir if there given a matrix then how can you find this diagonalizable or not doctor diti mos yes sir doctor diti mos diti mos what do you mean uh Uh, have you gone through the block uh, material related to diagonalization of matrices, Safida? Hello, ma'am. Have you gone through the material where the diagonalization of matrices uh. is discussed there? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Yes, ma'am. So, so uh, have have you applied that? Where you are uh, getting that problem? in textbook in our material in your in the material you are not able to understand the diagonalization process in that ah uh. okay so i am sure that dr diti mos will explain to you dr diti mos okay 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 so i i will definitely ask the coordinate uh, the course uh, Um, coordinator of from there and i will uh, give a reply to that uh, definitely but uh, you specifically tell the problem the diagonalization process will be explained to you okay in mm -hmm. another in another discussion we will have a separate discussion for linear algebra and any other part uh, in the linear algebra not clear diagonalization is something clear uh, now anybody else has any problem anywhere else and maria Hello. Hello. Hmm. 
the purpose of this very meeting is that if you have any uh, particular decision to be explained, we will get a, a idea from that. We can stress those points. Uh, we can send you some material, extra explanation or video related to that. We'll do that. So I think I want to hear from the student. Are there any other area? Yeah, but I don't know if you want to answer that. No, problem no, no. ഫാക്കൽറ്റിസ്പ്ലെയിൻ definitely mail to um, dr venkat raman igno uh, igno mail i think there is a form for msc mscs uh, vyas portal are you are you people are member of the vyas portal w e a s no no you are not aware so there is a portal igno has started there msc mscs also is uh, there and you can share all your uh, questions and everything in that also the faculty will be seeing the questions and will reply to you okay and uh, otherwise you can mail also so please do, please do that okay okay meera okay. shri has joined she has anything to ask hello yes ma'am ah uh, please you have anything to ask no i am nothing now you have nothing you are clear very good prachita ah oh, sorry prachita is <laughs> okay then uh, uh, shall i begin the real analysis yes ma'am yes, ma yeah first of all i would like to know how many of you have gone through block 1 please say yes or no at, at least few have you have you seen this study material have you gone through that no no ma'am okay. not get study material you have not received it no ma'am we have no, the soft copy we just go through the soft copy material in website we have received c programming text and uh, linear algebra mmt 002 and mmt 007 no other texts are not yet received mmt 004 is not yet received no no no, no. Uh, so those who have not received please send a mail to us okay or or put it in okay, that okay we would like to know that why right? because this has been there in that already this should have been uh, received by you so nobody has gone through this material no, no madam no so are you planning to write any exam related to that yes ma'am yes, ma i am going to then how we use the soft copy of the soft copy. Soft copy. you have seen the soft copy of this yes at least matrix basis the first block is on matrix spaces it is spaces okay ah. and uh, second block is in calculus in rn this is uh, and the third is measure and integration so these are the different structures that are discussed in real life the fourth is called the real life but we have talked about the we have taken the of the real, uh, real number and then we have extended to uh, extended further so the clear understanding of real what is the real uh, real number or real number structure at least undergraduate ningalku orme undo ningal padichatha real analysis endengilum undergraduate la padichatha hello ah uh, undu ma'am wow okay top uh, what is a topological structure what is an algebraic structure 
ടോപ്പോളജിക്കൽ സ്ട്രക്ചർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ അതിന്റെ ഒരു ജോമെട്രിയുടെ ഒരു എക്സ്റ്റൻഷൻ ആണ് അതിൽ ഒരു ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് മെട്രിക്ക് കാണാൻ പറ്റും ഒരു ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഇഫ് യു ആർ ഗിവൺ ടു എലിമെന്റ്സ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് ഔട്ട് വെയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ആൻഡ് മാറ്റർ ദ വെദർ ദ സെറ്റ് ഈസ് ഹൗ മെനി ഓഫ് യു ഹാവ് സം ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ആൻ ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് എനി ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് ആൻ ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാവിങ് ഹലോ 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 യെസ് മാം യാ സോ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ആൻ ഓപ്പൺ ഇന്റർവൽ ഓപ്പൺ ഹേ ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് കാൻ യു റിമെമ്പർ ദാറ്റ് ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് ക്ലോസ് സെറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ മെട്രിക് സ്പേസ് കാൻ യു ഗിവ് ആൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് എ മെട്രിക് സ്പേസ് this are the some of the concepts you should know that at least you should be able to give an the definition of a metric metric means it can be the set can be r set can be any other any other set x so the uh, main example i will start with a metric as a distance between two points that is a function which defined from r cross r because if you want to have a distance function you should have two points in that so one real number another real number so r cross r from that the distance is giving another real number that means if you have two points two real numbers a and b then there is a function defined on that given by the distance between a and b d a b that is another real number here so that function is called a metric so this is an example of a metric distance so starting with that we are the whole uh, that uh, metric space is uh, based on that so first of all it is important for you to understand the domain of that function is r cross r we are taking two uh, real numbers and then that is going to another r so the range space is r so this is a function so metric space you should understand that as a function from x cross x to the set of real numbers distance is a real uh, we are giving it as a uh, real number so we are giving it as a, some measure kind of a thing so okay so th- that is what we have discussed in the first block so if you have uh, studied from that uh, this thing any uh, for example i can show you that definition x is a non empty uh, uh, since i don't have the uh, slides with me here i am in kerala now i can't show you that so i am showing uh, i am i have the block with me i'm just reading from the block x is a non empty set a metric d on x is a function d from x cross x cross product x to the real number satisfy the certain properties you already know that the distance between two points is a always greater than or equal to zero kabhi negative to negative aava pattilla ad appo that's always greater than or equal to zero here that condition is there second distance between a and b is always equal to distance between b and b and a that can that cannot these are the some of the properties of the distance in on the real line we are extending we are extending that to the any other set any set which satisfy these properties is called a metric and then another property is that if you have real line if you have in between points and then always from here to here a to b and b to c is less than or equal to a to c so this is the third condition the three these are the three properties which is uh, definitely makes a, another structure on a set like r has a structure of distance this can be extended to any other structure on any other set that set can have functions that set can have anything but if we, if you can define a function like that so then that set is called a metric space so far i think students you are not able to go beyond r it is very necessary to go beyond r now you should just understand it as a set x because then if you have two function there also we can uh, uh, define a metric between two function if you have f and g then we can define a function on uh, the between s and g 
that is defined here. You can give look at the examples here. So it is very necessary to look at the what are the different types of metric spaces. Because then in even the true false questions we can ask. We can just give a function on that. So we will just say that this is a metric on X. How do you check that? Uh, no, you are not able to understand. You do just say that yes or no. But that doesn't give you any mark in that. You have to at least say that either these three conditions are satisfied or either any of them, any one of these these three are satisfied so you give yes this is a metric space if any of the three conditions are violated then you will say that this is not a metric space so you should be able to verify that if you want to answer that question so this is beyond the definition understanding the definition is one thing and looking at each problem and they're looking at that where how this d is defined is very important this is something to start with i'm talking about some one question so then we using d that metric we define several other concepts in that so they, that is the first block of uh, dealing with that like we have open ball how do you define open ball how do you define open set so there is always a many questions related to that if you have if you have gone through any of the question paper now, um, the, I have a question paper with me. So whether if that is, if you have gone through that, can you can anybody answer that the sequence one by n, one by n in R two under the discrete matrix converges in R two. So this is the first question. For to understand this question, you should understand what is first of all what is a discrete matrix. See, discrete matrix is something which is definitely you need to understand beyond that. For example, given any set X, you can always define a matrix on that given by the uh, function is that from X to X, you define that function as 1. And for X, uh, any other points beyond X, you define the function as 0. You check that all the three conditions are satisfied. Today is an exercise for you. Discrete metric space is a very important, very important uh, concept in metric space. So you always get uh, questions from that to understand that. Even if, whether it is in true, false, for example, any discrete metric space, what are open sets? In a discrete metric space, what are closed sets? Whether singleton sets are open or not? I can give a simple example. I can give singleton set X in an X. Suppose X is a metric space with a discrete metric. Now, my uh, I am asking this so that singletons in a discrete metric space are open. So, can you? Uh, how do you uh, answer this question? First of all, you should understand what what are the sets which are open. Open means. Uh, please, you want to ask something? Hello, Mira. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, no need to ask anything. No, ma'am, you can continue. So, any questions? Have you understood the discrete metric? Yes, Hello? discrete. Uh, discrete matrix got it. You got it, no? Yeah. So now, uh, with that, you also learn how to attempt a problem. For example, my question is that discrete matrix space is an open set. How do you? First of all, you should know the definition of discrete matrix, and then you should know. In a metric space, what are open sets? Open sets are such that if you have any point on that, then you can find a neighborhood. Neighborhood means an open ball. How do you define a ball in that? You see the distance between R uh, with a radius. R ball is something like that. Distance between square of the distance between them is less than or equal to less than R. This is how balls are defined in R, real lines. Same way, you replace that x square plus y square, that distance formula with d, dxy is less than or equal to r. Distance between those points lie in that ball whose distance from that center point is less than or equal to d, dxy is less than or equal to r. These are the balls. Exactly we are copying that r2 to any other set. Instead of giving that uh, function as the distance function, we are just giving, putting it as d. So that you make it very clear that so now with that this thing open ball now we are going to discuss many other 
open set. Open set means what are what are open sets? Everything is lying in the in interior of the set. Interior means you can always find a ball lying within that. That is the concept of interior. So uh, the all the points, for example, open ball. A closed ball is not an open set. For example, if you take any boundary point, if you take any, imagine a just a circle, and take a point. Uh, imagine a point on the uh, uh, circumference of uh, that boundary, and consider a ball around that or interval around that. Definitely, it will have a point inside and outside. You agree? Huh? You agree, you know? So that means no ball can exist entirely inside the ball. So say concept is definitely transferred to metric space. That means if we in, in that particular set, if you can find a ball entirely contained in that particular set, it should not have any point entirely contained means it should not contain any point outside that. So these are the uh, some of the things. So open ball is defined like that and closed ball is there are uh, different definitions. You can always say that it is not open, it's, it's a closed ball. Or now it's a concept of limit points. I'm just, uh, in one hour, it's difficult to explain all those. But you should know the definition of limit points. You should know the definition of closed sets, which contains all the limit points. These are only the first block, uh, first unit. Then we are coming to the convergence. Convergence in real analysis, you are familiar. What is that? In the limiting case, if you can. The sequence section convergence if given epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta greater than zero that uh, there exists a capital n so that up beyond after a stage all the elements are less than epsilon so there is an epsilon there is a capital n same definition is transferred to metric space for example instead of modulus of x n minus x we are writing just d that's all try with yourself uh, the xn converges to x1 given epsilon greater than zero there is a stage capital n such that after beyond that xn minus the this thing less than epsilon so instead of mode xn minus you write d xn x less than epsilon that's all so this is the exact so you first recall the definition of convergence in the real line and transfer that into uh, general metric space so general metric space is what we have discussed in the second unit of that and the first question in the december examination is that in r2 see there are spaces r r2 r3 rn these are all euclidean spaces so apart from the real line now you can extend the definition of distance to r2 you can always using the distance formula you can find distance between two points in r2 in R3 also using the distance formula you can find. So that is a metric. There are other metrics also that we have discussed in the first block. This is not the only metric in R1, R2. We have taxi we have metrics. There are different metrics on that. For example, any relation between, you can check that. Suppose you have two real numbers, x1, x2. The maximum of x1, x2 is another real number if it exists. So that, that can be also a metric. So any relation connecting these two, if that makes sense and if it lies, and that satisfies the properties can always be a um, metric. So R2, if we are not specified any metric, it is assumed that it is a distance metric. Otherwise, here it is asked R2 with discrete metrics. So discrete metrics, you should understand what is the convergence mean. And this the whole problem is discussed in this block. If you look at that, I can show you page number 46. We have very clearly discussed the whole uh, problem in that. For example, we have given the sequence there. We have discussed the convergence there. So those students who have gone through this blog, definitely uh, we expect that the teacher will be able to answer that. But unfortunately, we are not getting answers. So I am only reiterating that. Please look at the questions and go through the corresponding portion in the block and next time we may not ask a discrete we may ask something else related to that convergence so that gives an indication that these are the type of the questions we'll be asking from that and how do you attempt that go to the concept 
understand the stigmatis, understand conversions, and then attempt to that question. So this is one example of that. So this is only I'm talking about the true-false question. Another true-false question in uh, I'm taking from another block. Calculus in RS. This is fairly easy because those students who have under, uh, uh, advanced calculus normally sometimes uh, they attempt this part because they, their familiarity with that uh, their derivatives and all this is going to help. And this is slightly mechanical also. Once you know the, to find the partial derivative, you can attempt that. So there also the we have put in a, the second derivative of a linear map from Rn to Rm never vanishes. So how do you attempt that? There also you have to go through this block and then you have to uh, look at the how derivative is defined in Rn using Jacobian matrix and uh, uh, so all these things so unless you go through that block corresponding then you won't be able to understand that. So this is from this block and in the true false question you will find questions from these three blocks. We never leave any block. So studying one block is not going to help you pass even the examination and telling. So questions are phrased like that. We put one question from the one block so that we don't want you to leave any particular portion for because this is an important uh, foundation for any other further study function analysis in second semester. Unless you understand real analysis, it is very difficult to understand functional analysis. So again I am repeating that. Study it very properly. Whatever you study, try to understand that and try to, one one look at this not enough. Repeatedly you look at that. You, repeatedly you uh, attempt the questions, exercises given in that. So uh, this is the second block now. Now another import. Yeah, yeah. So any other, any questions related to that? Uh, to, uh, anything students want to ask me? Hello? 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 No. Yeah, this is what I'm discussing that now. So this is the first question, but... Uh, now another question, I don't know whether you are familiar with that. The next question is that there are two metric spaces and F is a function. Prove so that F is continuous at a point C belonging to X if and only if there is a particular property is satisfied. That means, given a closed set containing Fc, we can find a closed set U containing C such that the image of that is containing the other set. Definitely, mathematics and uh, we need a board to explain to that. Unfortunately, there is a limitation for that. If there would have, there was a board that I would have explained the whole problem to you. But unfortunately, the, uh, we don't have the facility for that. So I'm sure that your counselors will is going to help you for this. So board I can use, but can I use that? Right? Okay. So in the next question, hello. Next question. Uh, the question is that we are given two metric spaces and we have given a function. And then the question is that show that S is continuous on a that metric space if and only certain property is satisfied. How do you check that? For example, you are asked to show that first of all F is continuous. You should know the definition of continuity in a metric space. How many of you know the continuity of continuity in a metric space? That is something we should start with. You should know that. Okay? And that is discussed in, again in block one, continuity. So, and the same problem is given in that as a uh, theorem. It is stated there. If you want, I can just see the page number there. So nothing is beyond this. So you, you have already got the uh, e-copy of that also. This is not different from this block. So if you are not, unless you study the proofs and definitions in this, 
which is going to be difficult for you. You see, uh, 1.5 is our, this is the block in uh, continuous functions. So there the definition of continuous functions are given. If you want to note it down, you can note down page number 30. There I think definition is given. The two functions are continuous. If given epsilon greater than zero, the resistance delta greater than zero. But you must be from the calculus you think you are hearing that. X is continuous if given epsilon greater than zero, the resistance delta greater than zero, such that whenever modulus X minus y is less than delta, mod effect minus F y is less than epsilon. This you are hearing it from since from your basis. So here the matrix placement, the only difference is that yeah, only difference is that instead of mode you have D. Put D on that. Given epsilon greater than zero, there is a delta greater than zero such that whenever dxy is less than delta, so that you and another thing you should you should write the questions and learn it. Mathematics uh, it's difficult to is it difficult to uh, learn? See the the, the board, madam has arranged for the board also. <laughs> Thanks. If I want, I so the definition from the real analysis, from the calculus itself, from you, you have been hearing this, that you, you should know how to adapt it to the matrix there. So you know this definition. Now from that, sometimes there is a definition given there. And then we go beyond that. Every time it's difficult to find the epsilon delta in that for any set. So we look for some other properties. So what is that property? Property instead of that less than epsilon, less than delta. What is that? Uh, that is means delta ball. I can say that mod x minus y less than delta means delta ball. So given any delta ball, something lying in that, then that lies in the epsilon ball also. Understand? So this is how the extension came. So instead of that epsilon delta, now we are coming to the ball. Now, once you have a ball, then we come to the open set. Open set means a, a something which contains open balls uh, around each point. So now we have come to that particular property which now I have we have asked in that particular question. That means given any closed set B in the range space, you should be able to pull out a um, in, uh, set in the domain space that takes the map into that particular point okay. like for example if you have a ball like this in this sorry in the range space then you can find something in the domain that maps that in, into that that is the definition of the continuous means continuity continuity i know continuity in there Try to imagine that in mathematics, you should try to understand that. If you have a space, you can function in the function. You can see that you can see that you can see that you yeah. Sujata Varma. Uh -huh. Yeah, please. Then the question is done. Sir? Okay. Ma'am, hello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ma'am, we real atom good the important topics the topic side of the carrier. This is the important topic. 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 This is the Real 
convergence. If a common another arnica continuity in metric spaces. If we question Anja Mark and a question, Anna, if they pick under it, you are reeling in the Kangan and other drum tea, and the other drum tea, but clear. Upper E cost E E page and lies the Padica, they can't think of the same theorem number eight on page number thirty four is exactly that. If and only for every open set, we can its inverse with F inverse V is open in X. Upon English, the Padilla chapter in England, Nangli is the Dulna Lang Josie Campatula in the Kalana were on the Josie Campatula. So it is important that metric in the definition cell and selectivity. Continuity and definition and selectivity are here on some and selectivity. Other Padicia Petro, but I can't even attempt to be a I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'll see you, but if you regularly study that, it's not otherwise difficult to carry in but pay some attention to that. And then, this is not for all the exercises in there. He exercises in there, you have to ask questions when I'm going to talk to you. For example, uh, E29. E29 is a question. Show that the restriction is a continuous function. Next time, you may ask that question. So, important So, that is one question that uh, uh, whoever the paper setter can put that. I am saying that. Apart from that, basic definitions Mansila Kadeganda and the properties Mansila Kadeganda in the question paper at MTM Patilia. Sorry. Okay, madam. Okay. Okay, 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 Either set another. X. Is it no little elements and the number of mala? Then no little and the number of set of all continuous functions. Or on the order function another, or a point another. Up an F or a function in the G or a function in the H and the function in the. Is all matrix space on a thing of the inner functions to be for whatever R R and the set of mental account of mother. Discrete matrix space mantle akana. Pinna ningala e function spaces. Function space on the other little other real numbers or numbers or no lie to little or or element of function. Above other for example, Yana for a distance function in any way defined here on the Ningilla. Ningle check is all modulus of fx minus gx. The real number of the is a real valued function from zero. G also real valued function. Okay, FX a real number of the GR some chalela. GX a real number of the GR some chalela. Okay, the model is a real number. So, this is the function space. is the metric. This is the question. 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 Pinna is an example of another. Abhi convergence and another continuity convergence. Other kind of the wearer and the wearer mode of combat setter. E combat setter the number is like a problem attempting. A subset in a matrix space is combat if it is closed. Ningle undergraduate number, any borrowed theorem, the level of the number of the if it is compact, if it is closed and bounded, if and only it is closed and bounded. Compact is only the normal Malayalam English le parana er compactness hiye. A compactness varda the closed da ya matram vara. Ado bounded da ono. Karna or or structure le closed bounded na some different concept na. Closed da itla da bounded da ono niliya. For example, set of all real num uh, natural numbers. Ado closed da. Ado ida aina jo that's why we have to do this. 
എവരി ഓപ്പൺ കവർ നമ്മളെ വലിയൊരു കവർ അതിനെ ഏതൊക്കെ തരത്തിൽ അതിനെ നമുക്ക് മൂടി വെക്കാൻ പറ്റുമോ അതിനൊരു ചെറിയതായിട്ടൊരു ഒരു 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 മൂടി നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ഫോർ എവ്രി ഓപ്പൺ കവർ ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് വി ക്യാൻ ഫൈൻഡ് എ ഫൈനൈറ്റ് സബ് കവർ അതാണ് അതിന്റെ ആക്ച്വൽ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ പക്ഷേ ഈ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ വളരെ വെച്ചപ്പോ എല്ലാ സെറ്റിലും നമ്മൾ ഏതൊക്കെ ഓപ്പൺ കവർ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് നമുക്കറിയാം അതിനൊക്കെ ഫൈനാൻസ് സബ് കവർ കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നതാണ് സോ മാത്തമാറ്റീഷ്യൻസ് യൂഷ്വലി സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് എ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ദ ട്രൈ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് സം പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ ഡീൽ വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് മോർ കംഫർട്ടബിളി അതാണ് അതിന്റെ ഉദ്ദേശം ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടികളുടെ അപ്പൊ വൺസ് ടു ഡിഫൈൻ ദ കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് സച്ച് ദാറ്റ് സോ ദൻ ദ തിയറം സേസ് ദാറ്റ് ഇഫ് ദ സെറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് ദൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കോമ്പാക്ട് അതിപ്പോ അതിൽ പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യാൻ വേണ്ടിട്ട് നമ്മൾ എവരി ഓപ്പൺ ഓപ്പൺ കവർ ഹാസ് എ ഫൈനാൻസ് സബ് കവർ ഉപയോഗിക്കുക അത് ആ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഞാൻ വേണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ചോദിക്കാം നമുക്ക് ചോദിക്കാം ഷോ ദാറ്റ് അതിന്റെ ഐ എം ഓൺലി കമ്മിങ് ടു വൺ പാർട്ടി ഫൈൻ ഓൺലി ഫിൽ ഞാൻ ഇനി പിന്നെ വരാം അതായത് പൈക്കാൻ ആ സെറ്റ് എവരി ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് സെറ്റ് ഈസ് കോമ്പാക്ട് ഒരു ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചോദിക്കാം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസിന്റെ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ അറിയണം എങ്ങനെ ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് സെറ്റ് ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എവരി ഓപ്പൺ കവറിന്റെ ഫൈനാൻസ് സബ് കവർ കിട്ടുക എന്നുള്ള ഒരു ടെക്നിക്ക് അറിഞ്ഞില്ലെങ്കിൽ യു കെ നോട്ട് ആൻസർ ദാറ്റ് സ്റ്റിൽ ഐ എം സെയിങ് ദാറ്റ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഒന്നും ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ അറിഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ യു റൈറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഗിവ്സ് യു സം സ്റ്റെപ് മാർക്കിംഗ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് സോ ലേൺ ദ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ആൻഡ് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ഇനിയിപ്പോൾ ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് ആയിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഹാഫ് ഹാഫ് വേ ത്രൂ യു ആർ സെയിങ് ദാറ്റ് given that x is closed and bounded we have to show that x is compact what we have to show for every open cover we have is a finite sub cover other 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 engineana nammada closed and bounded ubhayichittu kanikka endalladana that theorem shows that appo unless you know that statement you cannot answer that these are all in the from the material only i am asking so how do i say that next time i can ask only that compactness that question only understand and another uh, uh, theorem says that uh, if and only if if and only if ningalla palarukku eda if eda only if annu manasalle you repeat the same for example suppose x is compact if and only if it is closed and bounded aanundengile oru part endaachal x is compact implies closed and bounded adana oru part that is necessary part compact anengil it is necessary that it is closed and bounded aanundengile അത് ഈ പാർട്ട് നീ അത് ഓൺലി ഈ പാർട്ട് നീ ഈ പാർട്ട് എന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇത് ദ സെറ്റ് ഈസ് ക്ലോസ് ഇൻ ബൗണ്ടറി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കോമ്പാക്ട് അതായത് സഫിഷ്യൻ്റ് ആണ് അതാണ് സഫിഷ്യൻ്റ് ദാറ്റ് നോട്ട് നെസസറി സഫിഷ്യൻ നമ്മൾ അതാണ് വ്യത്യാസം അതായത് ഇപ്പോൾ കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് നെസസറിലി അതില്ലെങ്കിൽ നമുക്ക് സ്ട്രേറ്റ് അവേ പറയാൻ പറ്റും കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് ആണ് പക്ഷെ സഫിഷ്യൻസിക്ക് അത് പറയുന്നില്ല സഫിഷ്യൻസി പറയുന്ന എന്താ ക്ലോസ് ഇൻ ബൗണ്ടറി ഉണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഐ എം ജസ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്ന ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി കോമ്പാക്ട് അപ്പോൾ അതാണ് ആ ഇഫ് ആൻഡ് ഓൺലി ഇഫിന്റെ പ്രത്യേകത അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ ഈ പാർട്ട് ഏതാ നിങ്ങൾ വീണ്ടും എഴുതുമ്പോൾ ഈ പാർട്ട് തന്നെയാണ് ഓൺലി പാർട്ടും പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുക സോ ദാറ്റ് വോണ്ട് ഹെൽപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് യു ഷുഡ് ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഡിഫറൻഷിയേറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഈ പാർട്ട് ഇഫ് ഒന്നുമില്ലെങ്കിൽ ഒന്നുകിൽ സ്റ്റാർട്ട് വിത്ത് എക്സ് കോമ്പാക്ട് എടുക്കുക ഇത് ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യുക നെക്സ്റ്റ് ടൈം എക്സ് ക്ലോസ് ആൻഡ് ബൗണ്ടഡ് ആണെന്നുള്ളത് അസ്യൂം ചെയ്യാൻ നമ്മുടെ കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അപ്പൊ എക്സ് കോമ്പാക്ട് ആണെന്നുള്ള അസ്യൂം ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ യു ഓൾറെഡി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഹാസ് എവരി ഓപ്പൺ കവർ ഹാസ് എ ഫൈനൽ സബ് കവർ ഒക്കെ ഉണ്ട് അത് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ക്ലോസ് ലൈൻ പോകേണ്ടതാണെന്ന് പ്രൂവ് ചെയ്യണം അതിനാണ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ക്ലോസ്നെസിന്റെ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ അറിഞ്ഞാലേ അപ്പൊ അത് പറ്റുള്ളൂ വാട്ട് ഈസ് എ ക്ലോസ് ലൈൻ എവരി ലിമിറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് ഹാസ് അപ്പൊ അതിന് വേറെ തീയാനും കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസിന്റെ ഉപയോഗിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് സീക്വൻഷ്യൽ കോമ്പാക്ട് അപ്പൊ ഇനി ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് എല്ലാം ഇമ്പോർട്ടന്റ് ആണ് ഞാൻ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ എനിക്ക് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസ് പറഞ്ഞുതരാൻ പറ്റില്ല നോ ഐ വിൽ ഷോ യു ദ കോമ്പാക്ട്നെസ് എവരി കോമ്പാക്ട് സെറ്റ് ഇന്ത്യൻ മെട്രിക് സ്പേസ് ഈസ് ക്ലോസ് ലൈൻ ബൗണ്ടഡ് തിയറും ഉണ്ട് ആ തിയറും പലതരത്തിലും നമുക്ക് ഉപയോഗിക്കാനുള്ളത് പറ്റും അതേപോലെ തന്നെ ക്യാരക്ടറൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് കോമ്പാക്ട് സെറ്റ് ഈസ
So that is the importance of characterization. At least full theorem or millingilum, theorem in their idea in the mingle, you put that at least some step marking you can uh, get. I know where they are problem by two exercise and the other or a problem. Yeah, so in the easily put in the podium question paper of I sit a question paper he brought into lucky boy. Another moon of question paper of I can in a calculation idea with a particular nature. I'm sure that, but you should learn that. Where then okay on the Avilia? Abindu Lila theorem till and the Gilam Aria the questions and the Mingle, we can definitely help you out. Otherwise, then where a property in a continuity and A the A the compactness are connected with the square continuity which it will wear up a particular in the continuous function of other well behaved or not. Combat set like combat set like you won't do, open set like open set like you won't do, close set like you won't do, close set like you won't do. Map of continuous area of the particular lana. Up a full compactness criterion of the Nanga Isla number and the property discusses in a continuity on number lake and discusses in the more common analysis. Other than last is a continuity. They same parallel veil on a connector method discusses it. Connected set definition, the connected set in the definition will be parallel in that which is not disconnected. Adanapa Adela connected in the Sindhi. That's important. For example, this is a question. Sometimes, you see, continuous image of a path connected space is path connected. If you path connected, you can path connected. You can't connected. Not necessarily path connected. Single and sets are connected sets. I two words in the question. Connectedness is not a question. If you have a question, you can ask a question. If basic definition, you can ask a question. If you have a question, you can ask a question. If you have a path connected definition, you can ask a question. What is a path connected? For example, the path connected in the definition of what is an example of X is a matrix A path in a A path on a continuous map on a and I'm gonna path connected on the tell a space a then get into points of the anchor path and old center at all only upper ball at the body a ball and do little boundary a the points of the general number I'll know I'll I'll do little little you wherever I can be clear Adana path, upper path, not necessarily linear path on a milia, changing on the one or continuous at the path of another level. Adana path connected in the storm is a letter. Ado, where you will do some phone villa. Adi is an extent is on a number of a mentor who close a lot in a bounded right like a triangular. I do little number mostly with a path of anamato. I'm going to connect in this path connected on the connectedness need not imply path connectedness. Amla connected on the Zanka, pretty 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 pointed like a visitor Zaka. But she has the only path of an Andilia with it. Very continuous function and a path to define the Ampatanilla. Adana. Our discrete matrix spaces in a Kuru, Kuru, and the Varia, Uru counter example. Discrete to the end of the end of the counter example of another little discrete to the end of the path of compactness island, path connected island. Karena ini open board dan closed board itu arahnya entirely different dari itu. Apa itu mantra yang kita kena dengan orang counselor orang itu cuci kita as person as melihat saja. Anggennya pasti ada dua dua problem se attempt itu attempt itu. Ini dengan orang material yang pasti kena you will be able to definitely right there. Apa ini adalah apa kita sama sama problem se. Ni am not come to the last block. Pina define the directional derivative. Directional derivative ni lah konsep ni. Nggak lah block tool ni nggak lah clear lah itu ada definition baru ni tuh. Apa definition baru kita ada? Apa definition ni kan? Nggak lah kondo rendah makar definition. Nggak lah real aja. Pina nggak lah ada fair yang baca. Nggak lah kita ada importance baru ya. Derivative, direction derivative awa, derivative awa. So basic definition ni lah semua baru kita ada nggak lah kita baca. But itu yang baru ni lah macam. Orang orang block ni nggak lah nggak lah Order, ini order property itu, na, ah chapter na, ini ni lo, satu, satu, mikir awal, satu jadi tu. Kadar derivative ni le, mikir awal ni, ni orang tu, answer dia macam macam, 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 
കുറച്ചുകൂടി മെക്കാനിക്കൽ ആണ് അതിന്റെ ഡെറിഷൻ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് ഡെഫിനിഷൻ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ബ്ലോക്ക് ടു അവർ ഫീഡ്ബാക്ക് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് യു ആർ ഏബിൾ ടു കോംപ്രിഹെൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ബെറ്റർ ദാൻ അവർ ടു ബ്ലോക്ക് അപ്പൊ അത് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഫസ്റ്റും സെക്കൻഡും കോൺസെൻട്രേറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളതാണ് അപ്പൊ അതിന് ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് ഉണ്ട് ഡെറിവേറ്റീവ് അത് ആറിലല്ല കേട്ടോ ആർ ടൂലാണ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഓൾസോ ലിറ്റിൽ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഫോർ യു നോട്ട് ദാറ്റ് ഈസി അതില് ആണ് ടേലേഴ്സ് ചെയ്യാറാം അതൊക്കെ പറഞ്ഞിട്ടുണ്ട് ആ ടേലേഴ്സ് ചെയ്യാറാം മിക്കവാറും ഞങ്ങൾ ഇതിൽ നിന്ന് ഈ ഈ ബുക്കിലിട്ട് എക്സ്ട്രാ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഈവൻ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് വരെ ഞങ്ങൾ ചോദിക്കുന്നില്ല സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇനഫ് ദാറ്റ് ഈ മെറ്റീരിയലിന്റെ ആ പ്രോബ്ലംസും അതെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾ പഠിക്കൂ വേർ ആൻഡ് നോട്ട് എക്സ്ട്രാ മനസ്സിലായില്ല വെച്ചാൽ നിങ്ങൾ കൗൺസിലറോട് ചോദിക്കുക ഞങ്ങളോട് ചോദിക്കുക ആരോട് ചോദിക്കുക വേണമെങ്കിൽ ആവാം ബട്ട് നോ നീഡ് ടു ലുക്ക് അറ്റ് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ബിയോണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ഇതൊരു ഒരു ഇത് കാണാതെ അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ചില നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഫെയർലി ബാക്കിയുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നോട്ട് ഫുൾ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയില്ലെങ്കിൽ അപ്പൊ ഈ എക്സസൈസസ് ആർ വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ലോക്കൽ ഇൻവെർട്ടബിലിറ്റി ഇതൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾ അഡ്വാൻസ് കാൽക്കുലസില് അണ്ടർ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റിൽ പഠിച്ചതാണ് സോ വി ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ഗിവിംഗ് ഇറ്റ് ഇൻ ദറ്റ് ആർ ഇൻ സ്പേസ് ലോക്കൽ ഇൻവെർട്ടബിൾ ആർക്കും നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ അഡ്വാൻസ് കാൽക്കുലസില് അണ്ടർ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റില് അതിൽ നിന്നാണ് ആർ എൻ എം എക്സ്റ്റെൻഡ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുള്ളത് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് അബൌട്ട് സെക്കൻഡ് ബ്ലോക്ക് കാൽക്കുലസ് ഇൻ ആർ എൻ നൗ ഐ വിൽ ജസ്റ്റ് ടച്ച് അപ്പ് ഓൺ ദിസ് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് മെഷർ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡഗ്രൽ ആ മെഷർ ആൻഡ് ഇൻഡഗ്രൽ ആരെങ്കിലും ആരെങ്കിലും ഈ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വായിച്ചു നോക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ടോ ഇഫ് എനി സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഹാവ് ഗോൺ ത്രൂ ദാറ്റ് ഐ വുഡ് ലൈക്ക് ടു നോ ഉണ്ടോ വെരി ഗുഡ് വെരി ഗുഡ് ഒരു മെഷർ ഇൻഡഗ്രല്ല എന്നുള്ള നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എന്താ മനസ്സിലായിട്ടില്ല ഒരു മെഷറിന്റെ വട്ട് ഇസ് എ മെഷർ വെറുതെ ഒന്ന് ജനറലായിട്ട് എനിക്ക് മലയാളത്തെ പറഞ്ഞാൽ മതി എന്താ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിന് മനസ്സിലായെന്ന് അറിയണം ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ മെഷർ ഇതൊക്കെ അല്ലേ മെഷർ ഇൻഡഗ്രൽ ഒക്കെ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ടല്ലോ സിഗ്മ ഓൾജിബ്ര അല്ല മെഷർ എന്ന് വന്നുവെച്ചാൽ എന്താ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അതിന് മനസ്സിലായിട്ടില്ല ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു ഒരു സെന്റൻസ് പറയൂ എന്തായാലും കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഐ വിൽ ആക്സെപ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ കുഴപ്പമില്ല ഞാൻ നിങ്ങളെ നിങ്ങളോട് ചോദിക്കാം മെഷർ ഓഫ് എൻ ഇന്റർവൽ എന്താ ഒരു ഇന്റർവൽ എ ബി എന്നുള്ള എടുത്തോ സീറോ വൺ എന്നുള്ള ഇന്റർവൽ അതിന്റെ മെഷർ എന്താ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു എന്താ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലായിട്ടില്ല അതിന്റെ മെഷർ എന്താ വട്ട് ഇസ് എ മെഷർ ഓഫ് ദാ പറഞ്ഞു തരാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഒന്ന് ആലോചിച്ച് നോക്കൂ ഓക്കെ കോമൺ സെൻസിൽ പറയാം എന്താ എന്നെ മെഷർ തന്നാലോ സഫീദ സഫീദ and uh, i can only list the names it is given yeah. arya hello uh, hello miss yeah, yeah. closed interval 2 3 da measure enda 1 2 ne ed in interval stall interval or interval parnalo stall interval parayo 01 eh 01 okay aina measure enda hello chogu എന്തായാലും മെഷർ അതിന്റെ എന്തെങ്കിലും മെഷർ പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ അതിന്റെ സൈസ് പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ ആണോ വണ്ണാണ് എന്താ സംശയം വട്ട് ഈസ് വൺ വൺ എന്താ അതിന്റെ ലെങ്ത് അല്ലേ ലെങ്ത് അതിനാണ് ഞാൻ പറഞ്ഞ കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ആവണ്ട അപ്പൊ മെഷർ എന്ന് വന്നുവെച്ചാൽ ഒന്നിപ്പൊ പറഞ്ഞ ശരിയാണ് ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻഡ്രവൽ ആണ് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ ഏ പിന്നെ ടു ഫോർ ഫൈവ് ത്രീ ഏത് വേണം ഏതെടുത്താലും എനി ഇൻഡ്രവൽ യു ടേക്ക് എ ബി വി ക്യാൻ ഓൾവേസ് ഡിഫൈൻ എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ബി മൈനസ് എ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഇൻഡ്രവൽ അല്ലേ അത് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ എസ് എന്ന് പറയൂ ഓക്കെ സോ മെഷർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ അതിന്റെ ഡൊമൈനിൽ നിങ്ങളുടെ ഈ സെറ്റ് ഇന്റർവെൽസ് ആണ് കിടക്കുന്നത് പോയിന്റ്സ് അല്ല 
a is an interval b is an interval 1 2 3 4 5 6 അങ്ങനത്തെ എല്ലാ ഇന്റർവൽസും ഇല്ലേ അതാണ് ഈ മെഷർ എന്നുള്ള ഫംഗ്ഷന്റെ ഡൊമൈൻ ഡൊമൈൻ ഇസ് സെറ്റ് സോ എ മെഷർ ഇസ് എ സെറ്റ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ സെറ്റുകളിൽ നിന്ന് പോകുന്ന ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണത് ഗിവൺ എനി ഇന്റർവൽ യു വി ക്യാൻ ഡിഫൈൻ ദ ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ദ ഇന്റർവൽ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് അതിനെയാണ് പറയണത് നമ്മളിപ്പോ മെഷർ ലാംഡാന്നോ എന്താ ഇതിൽ എം ആണ് ഇട്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് എം എന്നുള്ള മെഷറിന്റെ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ എം ഈസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഹുസ് ഡൊമൈൻ ഈസ് സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ സെറ്റ്സ് ആണ് അതിൻ്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ ആ സെറ്റ്സ് ആണ് ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ്സ് ആണത് അതിൽ നിന്ന് പോകുന്ന ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് ഈ മെഷർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഈസ് ലെങ്ത് ലെങ്ത് പോലെ വേറെ പലതും നമുക്ക് ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്യാം അതുപോലെ ആർ ടൂല് കുറെ സ്ക്വയേഴ്സോ അല്ലെ അതൊക്കെ എടുത്തോളൂ ഏരിയ ഏരിയ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റില്ല എന്നിട്ട് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുമോ ഏരിയ ഏഹ് മനസ്സിലായോ ഏരിയ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ അതെ അതിന്റെ റേഞ്ച് എന്താ വരിക ഏരിയ ഇസ് എ റിയൽ നമ്പർ ലെങ്ത് ഇസ് എ റിയൽ നമ്പർ മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അപ്പൊ റേഞ്ച് എപ്പോഴും റിയൽ റിയൽ നമ്പർ ആണത് അപ്പോ എവ്രി മെഷർ ഈസ് എ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഡിഫൈൻഡ് ഓൺ ദ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് വിശേഷമായിട്ടും പ്രോപ്പർട്ടികളൊക്കെ വേണം അത് നമുക്ക് ഇതെന്ന് തന്നെ ഈ ലെങ്ത് തന്നെ കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റും ആ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് ഒക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എ സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ആ സെറ്റിൽ നിന്ന് മറ്റേ റിയൽ നമ്പറിലേക്ക് പോകുന്ന ഒരു എലിമെന്റാണ് മെഷർ ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ത്രീ ടു അപ്പൊ ഞങ്ങൾ ഈ അതിന്റെ പലതരം പ്രോപ്പർട്ടികളൊക്കെ ഇതിൽ ചോദിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് രണ്ട് ഇന്റർവല് തന്നു ഒരു ടു ത്രീ ഉണ്ട് ഒരു ഫോർ ഫൈവ് ഉണ്ട് അത് രണ്ടിനെയും കൂടി കൂട്ടി വെച്ചാൽ അതിന്റെ മെഷർ എന്താ വരിക എന്താ വരിക ടു ത്രീയും ടു ത്രീ ഫോർ ഫൈവും ജോയിന്റ് ആണ് ടു ത്രീന്റെ നമുക്ക് മെഷർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഫോർ ഫൈവിന്റെ മെഷർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ലെങ്ത് അപ്പൊ അത് രണ്ടും കൂടി കൂട്ടിയാലല്ലേ അതല്ലാണ്ട് ഇതിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ ഒരു സാധനം വന്നു വെച്ചാലോ സീറോ ഫോർ ഓർ ത്രീ ഫൈവ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ത്രീ അതിന്റെ ഇടയിൽ വന്നു അപ്പൊ നമുക്ക് ഇതിന്റെ രണ്ടിനെയും കൂടി കൂട്ടിയിട്ടാണെന്ന് പറയാൻ പറ്റുമോ മെഷർ പറയാൻ പറ്റില്ലല്ലോ സോ അൺലെസ് ദേ ആർ ഡിസ്ജോയ് ഇന്റർവെൽസ് നമുക്ക് ഇങ്ങനെ അഡിഷൻ പറ്റില്ല വേറെ ലെങ്ത്തിന് ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസുകളൊക്കെ ഉണ്ട് ആ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടീസ് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്യാത്തൊക്കെ വേണം ആ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ്സിനെ ഞങ്ങൾ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യേണ്ടതാണ് സിഗ്മ ഓൾജിബ്ര ഓൾജിബ്ര എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ ഒരു എയും അതിന്റെ ആ സെറ്റിലുണ്ട് ഒരു ബിയും ആ സെറ്റിലുണ്ട് എന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതിന്റെ യൂണിയനും ആ സെറ്റിന്റെ ഉള്ളിലാവണം ഇങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്താലേ നമുക്ക് ആ സെറ്റിനെ എവിടെക്കെങ്കിലും കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ So that is a sigma algebra, the first unit we are discussing about a class of sets in the properties on the sigma algebra. A and B and A and A union B and A union B. And the n number of elements are in the union, that is the union of the sigma algebra. Algebra is the finite number A and B. Sigma algebra is the n number of countable sets in the union, that is the union of the union. And the class of sets is defined by the first block. ആ ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ് നമ്മൾ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്സിൽ എന്തെങ്കിലും ഒരു സാധനം ചെയ്യണം തുടങ്ങി അതിന്റെ ആ നമ്മൾ എവിടെ വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ വെച്ചാൽ ആ വർക്കിനെ നമുക്കൊരു ഒരു റൂളിന്റെ അണ്ടറിൽ കൊണ്ടുവരണ്ട അതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് സിഗ്മ ഓൾജിബ്ര ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തത് ദെൻ വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ദ മെഷർ നൗ മെഷർ ഈസ് എ സെറ്റ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഓൾറെഡി ടോൾ യു ആ മെഷറിന് മുമ്പ് നമ്മൾ ആദ്യം ആക്ച്വലി ഇതൊരു ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ആണ് ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ എന്നുള്ള കൺസെപ്റ്റും നമ്മൾ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഔട്ടർ മെഷറും ഇന്നർ മെഷറും ഉണ്ട് അത് ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ എന്നുള്ള കൺസെപ്റ്റ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ നിങ്ങളൊന്ന് പഠിക്കേണ്ടി വരും അതായത് ഒരു ഫോർ എനി സെ ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മൾ ഇന്റർവലിന്റെ കാര്യത്തിൽ പറഞ്ഞപ്പോ ഇതാറോൾ ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് ലെങ്ത് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഇനിയിപ്പോ നമുക്കൊരു വെറുതെ ഒരു സെറ്റ് തന്നു ഇന്റർവൽ ഒന്നും അല്ല അങ്ങനത്തെ സെറ്റിനെ നമ്മൾ എങ്ങനെയാണ് മെഷർ നമുക്ക് മെഷർ ചെയ്യണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഇന്റർവലിന് മാത്രം കൊണ്ട് കാര്യം നടത്തില്ലല്ലോ അപ്പൊ വി ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് എനി അതർ സെറ്റ് എ ആ സെറ്റിനെ നമുക്ക് കുറെ ഇന്റർവലിനെ കൊണ്ട് നമുക്ക് അതിനെ കവർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ഇല്ലേ എ ഈസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻ യൂണിയൻ ഓഫ് ഇന്റർവൽ നമുക്ക് കണ്ടുപിടിക്കാൻ പറ്റും ആ ഓരോരോ യൂണിയനിലത്തെ എലിമെന്റിലും നമുക്ക് മെഷർ കാണാൻ പറ്റും അപ്പോ സെറ്റിയറിറ്റിക്കലി ഈ എ ഈസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് വന്നിട്ടാൽ ആ ഈ എയുടേത് ഈ എല്ലാം കൂടി ആഡ
പവർ ഇരുത്ത ആ ഇന്റർവെന്റൽ ലെങ്ത്തുകളല്ല ആഡ് ചെയ്തതിന്റെ കൂടുതലായിട്ട് ഈ എയുടെ ലെങ്ത് വരാൻ പറ്റില്ല എന്നതാണ് അപ്പൊ അത് പറയുന്നത് അതുപോലെ പിന്നാമ്പുറത്തൊന്നും ആവാം അതായത് എയുടെ ഉള്ളിലുള്ളത് അതാണ് ഇത് രണ്ടും കൂടി കൂട്ടിയിട്ടുള്ളതിനാണ് ഇതിന് ഇൻഷിമ എടുക്കുന്നത് അതാണ് ഇൻഷിമ ഓഫ് ലെങ്ത് ഓഫ് ഐ എന്ന് അതാണ് ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ആ ആ മെഷർ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാല് എന്നിട്ട് പിന്നെ വി ആർ കമ്മിങ് ടു ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ കഴിഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മള് ലബക്ക് മെഷറിലേക്ക് വരുന്നു ഈ ഫോർ എവറി അത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഇനി അടുത്ത കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഞാൻ പറയാം സിഗ്മോൾജിബ്ര ലബക്ക് ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ മനസ്സിലാക്കും എന്നിട്ട് പിന്നെ ലബക്ക് മെഷറിലേക്ക് വരും ലബക്ക് മെഷർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ എന്താ വെച്ചാല് ആ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ആ എ എന്നുള്ളൊരു സെറ്റ് ഉണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അത് ഏതൊരു സെറ്റിനായിട്ടും അതിന്റെ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ആയിട്ട് ഇന്റർസെപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്താല് അതിന്റെ സമ്മ അത് നമുക്ക് വെണ്ടേഖന വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്കത് എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ എ പ്ലസ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ബി ഈ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് അപ്പൊ പലരും ഇവിടെ തെറ്റി വരുത്തണം എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ ഞാൻ കോമൺ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് പറയാം എ എന്നുള്ള സെറ്റിന്റെയാണ് നമ്മൾ മെഷർ കാണുന്നത് കേട്ടോ ഈ ഇയും ഈ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ആർബിട്രി ആണ് ഏത് സെറ്റിനും വേണ്ടിട്ട് ഉൾട്ട അത് അതിന്റെ തിരിച്ചാണ് നിങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാ നിങ്ങള് എയുടെ മേ എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് എടുക്കുകയാണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് അത് എടുക്കരുത് എ ഫിക്സ്ഡ് ആണ് ഏത് സെറ്റിന്റെ എ കൂടിയിട്ടും കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് എടുക്കണത് ഞങ്ങൾ ജനറൽ സെറ്റിന്റെ ആണ് അതായത് ആ സെറ്റിന്റെ ആ ഒരു ഇ എന്നുള്ള സെറ്റായിട്ടുള്ള ഇന്റർസെക്ഷനും അതിന്റെ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ആയിട്ടുള്ള ഇന്റർസെക്ഷനും കൂടി ആഡ് ചെയ്താല് അതിന്റെ പറയുക അതായത് എ എന്നുള്ള സെറ്റിന്റെ മെഷർ കാരണം വെച്ചാല് അതിന്റെ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ആ ലെങ്ത്തോട് കൂടിയിട്ടുള്ള ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ഇല്ലേ ആ എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ആവണം എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ പ്ലസ് എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ഇത് എങ്ങനെയാ വന്നു വെച്ചാൽ നമുക്ക് ഓൾറെഡി വെണ്ടാകരം വെച്ചിട്ട് നമുക്ക് ഏത് സെറ്റിൽ എ ഇസ് കണ്ടെയ്ൻ എ യു എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ ഇത് ഇത് ഏതുള്ള പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ലെസ് ആൻ യൂണിയൻ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ഇത് രണ്ടും കൂടി കൂടിയാലേ ഏ എന്നുള്ള ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എ എന്നുള്ള സെറ്റ് വരാൻ പറ്റുള്ളൂ എ എന്നുള്ള സെറ്റ് വന്നു വെച്ചാൽ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ യൂണിയൻ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് അത് അതിൽ നിന്ന് അപ്പൊ എം സ്റ്റാർ ഈസ് കൗണ്ടബിളി അഡിറ്റീവേ ഉള്ളൂ സോ വാട്ട് വി ആർ ഗെറ്റിംഗ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഓൾവേസ് ദർ ഇത് ഓൾവേസ് കിട്ടുന്ന സാധനമാണ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ഓ എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ പ്ലസ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ഓഫ് ഇ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ അത് സെറ്റിയറിയിൽ ഉള്ളതാണ് മെഷറായിട്ട് യാതൊരു ബന്ധമില്ല ദിസ് ഈസ് ഓൾവേസ് ട്രൂ സെറ്റിയറിറ്റിക്കലി ഇതിനെ പറ്റി നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രശ്നമേ ഇല്ല ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ഓൾവേസ് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് അവ ലബക്ക് മെഷറബിൾ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ദ അതർ വേ സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കാണിക്കേണ്ടത് സോ ഷോ ദാറ്റ് ദിസ് ഈസ് മെഷറബിൾ എന്ന് കാണിക്കേണ്ടത് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഓൺലി യു ഹാവ് ടു ഷോ ദാറ്റ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ഓഫ് എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ പ്ലസ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ഓഫ് എ ഇന്റർസെക്ഷൻ ഇ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ഇ പ്ലസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എം സ്റ്റാർ എ ഇത് കാണിക്കാൻ പറ്റിയാൽ യു ആർ ഡൺ അത് ലബക്ക് മെഷർ ആണ് അതായത് അപ്പൊ അതിന് എം എ എന്ന് എഴുതാൻ പറ്റും എം എന്ന് എഴുതാൻ ലബക്ക് മെഷർ ആണ് എം സ്റ്റാർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ആണ് ഔട്ടർ മെഷറിന് എപ്പോഴും ഈ ഒരു ഇക്വാലിറ്റി സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ആവും ആ ഔട്ടർ മെഷറിന്റെ മറ്റേ ഇക്വാലിറ്റി കൂടി സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ചെയ്താൽ ആ സെറ്റ് മെഷറബിൾ ആണ് അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ലബക്ക് മെഷറബിൾ സെറ്റ് എന്താണെന്നുള്ളത് നിങ്ങൾ ഇത് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ട് പഠിച്ചാൽ മതി ഇനി അത് അതിൽ നിന്ന് ചിലപ്പോൾ ചോദിക്കാൻ പറ്റില്ല ചെറുകറി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഉണ്ട് കാരണം ഒരു എ ഒരു എ എന്നുള്ളൊരു സെറ്റ് മെഷറബിൾ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ അതായത് ഇത് സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ചെയ്യുകയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റും സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈഡ് ആവുകയുള്ളൂ ദാറ്റ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ എ മെഷറബിൾ ആണെങ്കിൽ എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ഔട്ടർ മെഷറിനെ പറ്റിയിട്ടല്ല അവിടെ പറയണം മെഷറാ പറയണം കേട്ടോ എ മെഷർ ആണെങ്കിൽ എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് അത് ചോദിക്കാം അത് ദിസ് ഇസ് ഫെയർലി ഈസി സെറ്റേറിയ കാരണം എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് എന്ന് എടുത്താൽ എ എന്നല്ലേ അപ്പൊ അതുകൊണ്ട് എ ഉണ്ടെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി നമുക്ക്
അതായത് ഇതിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ ഉണ്ടാകുന്നത് എ മെഷറബിൾ അപ്പൊ എ മെഷറബിൾ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ എ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റും ഇതിന്റെ ഉള്ളിൽ തന്നെയാണ് അങ്ങനെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചോദിക്കാം The simple question that can be asked. And you can, once you understand the definition of measurability, you can very easily answer that. That's why. Otherwise, then the simple question on the theorem tool, even an E2R measurable set, and even intersection E2MT. Why right? they are destroyed? Sorry, sorry, madam. Even, even intersection E2MT, right? Otherwise, they are disjoined, right? even union E2 measurable, right? അതായത് ചിലപ്പോ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് കൺഫ്യൂഷൻ ആവും അതുകൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ എ എന്നിട്ടാണ് എം സ്റ്റാർ ഓഫ് എ വൺ എ ടു എന്ന് വെച്ചാല് എം സ്റ്റാർ യൂണിയൻ എ ടു അപ്പൊ ഇത് സെറ്റ് ഇതാണ് കേട്ടോ ഡോണ്ട് ഫോർഗെറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് എന്റെ ഈ വേറെയാണ് That means M star of even union E2 intersection E plus M star of even union E2 intersection E complement. That definition is not going to be done. But it's even in E1 union E2. Then M star of even union E2 is set. ഏതെങ്കിലും ഒരു സെറ്റ് ഇ ആയിട്ടോ ഇ കോംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ആയിട്ടോ അങ്ങനെ സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ എ വൺ യൂണിയൻ യൂസേജ് മെഷറബിൾ ഇതൊക്കെ ചെറിയ പ്രോബ്ലംസ് ആണ് സെറ്റ് ഏറി മനസ്സിലാക്കിയാൽ വളരെ എളുപ്പമായിട്ട് ഇത് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നതാണ് അതുകൊണ്ട് പ്ലീസ് ഡോണ്ട് ലീവ് ദാറ്റ് നിങ്ങൾ പലരും ആ ചാപ് ബ്ലോക്ക് അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല ആ ബ്ലോക്ക് എളുപ്പമുള്ളതാണത് യു ക്യാൻ അറ്റംപ്റ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ ഒന്നല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിട്ട് ഇത് എഴുതിയാൽ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് ഫോർമുലസ് മാർക്ക് കിട്ടും യു വിൽ മാർക്കിംഗ് വി ഓൾവേസ് ഡൂ ദാറ്റ് അറ്റ്ലീസ്റ്റ് അത്രയും ഞങ്ങൾക്ക് മനസ്സിലായി നിങ്ങൾ യു ഹാവ് അണ്ടർസ്റ്റുഡ് ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് മെഷർ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ അടുത്ത തിയറി കൗണ്ടബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ളത് അത് ഇത്തിരി അതൊക്കെ സെത്തിയറിയാണ് സെത്തിയറിയുടെ അതൊന്നും ഉപയോഗിച്ച് ദിസ് ഹോൾ മെഷർ തിയറി ഈ സെത്തിയറി സെത്തിയറിയിലത്തെ പലതരം ഡിമാർഗൻ ലോ ഏവൺ യൂണിയോ ആ അതെല്ലാം മനസ്സിലാക്കി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ സെത്തിയറി മെഷർ തിയറി ഇസ് വെരി ഈസി അപ്പൊ അത് അത് നിങ്ങൾ ലീവ് ഔട്ട് ചെയ്യാണ്ട് ചെയ്യാതെ ഈ ഈ സെത്യറിറ്റിക്ക് പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി നോക്കിയിട്ട് ആ സ്മോൾ സ്മോൾ പ്രപ്പോസിഷൻസ് ഒന്ന് പഠിക്കുക സോ ദാറ്റ് വിൽ ഡേ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ പേപ്പറിൽ മെഷർ തിയറിയിൽ വാസ്റ്റ് മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇതുപോലെ തന്നെ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ പോലെ തന്നെ മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷനെ നമ്മൾ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അതെന്നാണ് ചോദിച്ചത് സോ മെഷർ ഇപ്പൊ മെഷറബിൾ സെറ്റ് പറഞ്ഞില്ലേ അതുപോലെ തന്നെ നെക്സ്റ്റ് കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഈസ് മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇഫ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ പോലെ തന്നെ ഒരു ഒരു ഫംഗ്ഷനാണ് ഈ മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ നത്തിങ് ബിയോണ്ട് ദാറ്റ് കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റി പോലെ ഇത്രയേ ഉള്ളൂ ഈവൺ എനി സെറ്റ് എ എഫ് ഒരു മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ആണ് കേട്ടോ അപ്പോൾ എക്സ് ആണെന്നുള്ള സെറ്റിൽ നിന്നാണ് പോകുന്നത് സെറ്റ് ടു റിയൽ നമ്പർ എന്താണെന്ന് വെച്ചാൽ ഇവിടുന്ന് ഒരു ഇഫ് യു ടേക്ക് എനി ഇൻട്രവൽ ഇൻ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ എ ബി എന്നുള്ള ഇൻട്രവൽ എടുക്കുകയാണെങ്കിൽ അതിന്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഇമേജ് ഇതിൽ മെഷറബിൾ ആവണം വെറുതെ ആയാൽ പോരാ അതായത് നമ്മളിപ്പോ കണ്ടിന്യൂറ്റിക്ക് എന്താ ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ്സ് അല്ലേ ഇവിടെ ഒരു ഓപ്പൺ സെറ്റ് എടുത്താൽ അതിന്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഇമേജ് ഓപ്പൺ ആണെന്നുള്ള പറഞ്ഞ പോലെ നമുക്ക് ഇവിടെ ഒരു സെറ്റ് എടുത്താൽ അതിന്റെ ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ഇമേജ് എഫ് ഇൻവേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് സെറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ലൈ അപ്പൊ മെഷറബിൾ ആണെന്നുണ്ട് മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അതാണ് അതിന്റെ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ നിങ്ങൾ മനസ്സിലാക്കിയിരിക്കണം സിമ്പിളസ്റ്റ് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഓഫ് എ മെഷബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഈസ് കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങളോട് ചോദിക്കാം സിമ്പിൾ എക്സാമ്പിൾ എനിക്ക് ചോദിക്കാം ടു എക്സ് ഐ വിൽ സേ ദറ്റ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എഫ് എക്സ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു എക്സ് ഇസ് എ മെഷബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് വേ യു ഷുഡ് ബി എബിൾ ടു അപ്ലൈ ദ ഡെഫിനേഷൻ ഇറ്റ്സ് എ കണ്ടിന്യൂസ് ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ദാറ്റ് ഫോർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് മെഷബിൾ അത്രേ ഉള്ളൂ യോ യോ സിമ്പിളി ഇഫ് യു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് യു വിൽ ഗെറ്റ് ടു മാർക്സ് ദാറ്റ്സ് ഓൾ മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അപ്പൊ ഇതൊക്കെ കൺസെപ്റ്റ് മനസ്സിലാക്കിയ ഇത്രയും ഫെയർ ആയിട്ട് ആൻസർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റിയിട്ടുള്ള ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ആണ് സോ ട്രൈ ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ലബക് മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷനെ പറ്റിയിട്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയൊരു ഇതുണ്ട് അത് ഇതേ ഉള്ളൂ സംഭവം ഇതേ ഉള്ളൂ കാര്യം ഡിഫിക്കൽട്ട് ആയിട്ടൊന്നും ഇല്ല സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇസ് എ മെഷറബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ഇനി ഈ മെഷർ വെച്ചിട്
अदे कंसप्त लबक इंटग्रल नोकीग्रल ओवर आंटग्रेशन एन मेषर्ण मेसोडिंगे प्रत्येक उपयोग मेषरबल Then we can define integral of this function as small m e, which is the length of the interval. Then carry all of all are carry all integral zero to one, uh, one d x on the length of the interval. Uh, it could be any p minus. Then all everybody we all know that. But then any of our extended that are not known are better like. So add sorry, add the b function. The other is the poor one. The characteristic function. Characteristic function there. Integral the one child we are defining it as m. अदा का नमले इतना सिंपल आटे नमले चोई किंड फाइंड द लेबर के इंटीग्रल ऑफ़ द पॉलिंग फंक्शन. नमले अदले पर एक एक ए यू का ये गुड़ी इटा ना वेरी पर तो तेरे का नमले चाल नमके ए इंटू वन ए बिटर पड़े. हैले? अब इंदा मेथड इंदा आ ए आना बेजा. मतलब इले. अब अदा क्या नमले च Something five times characteristic function of a b. And if I am telling you, you guys, you think the measure b minus a is not right? I know if I want to multiply the measure, it will change. So, Lebesgue integral, the characteristic function, the Ajay Mansla. So, now we are now we are coming to a kind of a step function. So, you guys, the block will be Mansla. Now, finite case, I will come to i equal to one to n. This is a step function. Something going beyond that. Characteristic function नमन चाहे गने बेरिंबो गने 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 step function नमन चाहे तो कोरे नंगले गोडी था ना अपन इतने इंदा चाहे नमन को एल्पन तो चाहे बच्चे में शरा this is a i रुपया इतना रिया मेशर ऑफ ये या अनंत ना रिया तो क्या destroy ना अन्ना था destroy ना अन्ना step function है and then calculate sigma so the what is the integral of this step function sigma a i n e f इतने नहीं लगा के integral लगे थे In a non-negative function, like the next one, the error. Using the theorem that every non-negative in, uh, function is the sequence of step functions. अंगने 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 extension में बोलेगा. अब आदमी तेरे clear आया तो निगला मंचला की तरह ना ना निगल इन्हीं कुछ मुली class गला ना तो निगल चलिया बस I hope that you got some idea of that so that you can go through that. इन्हीं बात तेरे निगल का मंचला में मिल जाता है. कूड़ा निउंसिले हेलप कौनसो चो चोदी यु शुड इंटराक्ट मोर वित् युवर कौनसिल दे आर् रेडी बट यु शुड आर् दम नो दें ओणी दे बी एब हेलप यु औट सो प्लस मेक यूस ऑफ दैट रूम कणमें अब मनसा 
കൊച്ചു വിഷമമുണ്ട് ഐ ഹോപ്പ് ദാറ്റ് ദ കൗൺസിലർ വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ടു യു ഐ ക്യാൻ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ ദാറ്റ് അത് എന്താ വെച്ചാൽ ഫംഗ്ഷൻ നമ്മൾ ാണ് <laughs> ഫസ്റ്റ് സിഗ്മോളജിബ്ര അത് വെക്കാൻ കാരണം ക്ലാസ് ഓഫ് സെറ്റ്സ് ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യണം ദെൻ യു ഗോ ടു ദ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു വെച്ചാൽ ഈ ഇൻട്രവലെ കൊണ്ട് ഞാൻ കവർ ചെയ്തിട്ട് ഇൻസ്ട്രിമെന്റ് ഇട്ടുന്നതാണ് ദ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ദെൻ യു കം ടു ദ ലെബക് മെഷർ ആ ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ഒരു പെർട്ടിക്കുലർ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി സാറ്റിസ്ഫൈ ചെയ്താലാണ് കാരണം ഔട്ടർ ഡിഫറൻസ് ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ ഈസ് ഓൺലി കൗണ്ടബിളി സബ്ബർഡ്രിറ്റിവിറ്റി മറ്റേ ഭാഗം ശരിയാവണമെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ മെഷറബിലിറ്റി വേണം സോ എനി ഔട്ടർ മെഷർ വിച്ച് ഇസ് കൗണ്ടബിളിറ്റി കൗണ്ടബിളി അഡിറ്റീവ് വിച്ച് എ മെഷർ അപ്പൊ അത് അങ്ങനെ ലെബക് മെഷർ ഇതിന്റെ ഒക്കെ കാരണം നമുക്ക് ഇന്റഗ്രലിൽ ഡിഫൈൻ ചെയ്യണം എന്നുള്ളതായിരുന്നു ലെബക് ഇന്റഗ്രലിനെ നമുക്ക് ആറല്ലാത്ത സ്പേസിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുപോകണം ഈ സീറോ വൺ നമ്മളൊരു സ്പേസ് മെട്രിക്സ് ആയിട്ട് പഠിച്ചില്ലേ ഇങ്ങനത്തെ ഒക്കെ സ്പേസിലേക്ക് നമ്മൾക്ക് എങ്ങനെ ഇന്റഗ്രലിനെ കൊണ്ടുപോകാൻ പറ്റും എന്നുള്ളത് ഇതിന് വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് ഇപ്പൊ ഈ എക്സസൈസുകളൊക്കെ ചെയ്യുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ ദിസ് ഈസ് വെരി ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് ടു ഫോർ യു ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഇനി ഫംഗ്ഷൻ ലാസ്റ്റ് വരുമ്പോൾ അവിടെ നിങ്ങൾ ഇത് തന്നെ കാണുള്ളൂ പിന്നെ റിയലൊന്നും ഇല്ല പി സീറോ വൺ അതുപോലെ സെറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഡിഫറൻസിബിൾ ഫംഗ്ഷൻസ് അതൊക്കെയേ വരുള്ളൂ അത് നിങ്ങളുടെ സെക്കൻഡ് സെമസ്റ്റർ ഉണ്ട് അത് മനസ്സിലാവണമെന്ന് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് വെരി നെസസറി ടു അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് റിയൽ ഈ ഫസ്റ്റ് സെമസ്റ്റർ റിയൽ ലാസ്റ്റ് റിയൽ എന്ന് പറയുന്നേ ഉള്ളൂ അത് അണ്ടർലൈൻ സെറ്റ് എല്ലാം റിയൽ ഒന്നും അല്ല ബാക്കിയുള്ള പല അബ്സ്ട്രാക്ട് പ്രോസസ്സും ഉണ്ട് സോ നിങ്ങളുടെ ആ റിയൽ എന്നുള്ളത് കൺസെപ്റ്റുകളുടെ ഇതാക്കിയിട്ട് കുറച്ചും കൂടി വലിയ സ്പേസിലേക്ക് ചിന്തിക്കാനുള്ള നിങ്ങളെ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾ കൊണ്ടുപോവാ ഓക്കെ 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 ഐ തിങ്ക് ഐ ഹാവ് താങ്ക് യു വെരി മച്ച് യാ Sujata Varma, thank you very much for your precious presence. And actually, the participants are very fortunate and blessed. Thank because you, thank they, could, you. they could meet their director of uh, uh, School of Science. <laughs> they are very happy about it. And you have been treating them with the, uh, not only through English, but through their mother tongue, sweet yeah. mother tongue. So that was more... attractive usually our msc max is taken as a unique program that is the word used there because of its uh, vast potentialities of applications and uh, those who have uh, and today uh, uh, we had the number of participants were uh, limited because not yeah, yeah, yeah. not because of their fault the time most of the participants are they are employed and uh, they cannot find this time to be proper but our, um, our director uh, regional director yeah, yeah. has kindly extremely uh, very interesting because he immediately to... provided the uh, board and i am i'm really very impressed <laughs> yeah yes and because her uh, uh, concern for the students is uh, i really appreciate that because he immediately made the uh, uh, board available and i'm sure that and the tom vargi sir you are also really helping the students i yeah. yes thanks a lot and actually uh, the students will, will not be missing your class because it has yeah. been uh, recorded and man has okay. yes uh, kindly uh, agreed to record this program those, those students who have missed it they can very well attend um they can't miss this class they can, all of them can attend to that again thank you very much for thank your you. sir uh, from there also enik avadna cheyan pattum enik oru oru notice thanna mudi group of students ne oru particular topic angane venam nanu sir the same thing i can do from delhi also so okay okay in future we will be we will be disturbing you in future no, also no, no way no way it's not only like, i am happy to we are uh, that's what i am uh, happy to see some students nangala miss cheyana oru kaaryam students ne aanu avadhe so we are always happy to interact with students no doubt <laughs> that's great so 
I think that Dr. Um, Prasida, we can have the order of thanks, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm really, very much, uh, I enjoyed the session very well. And uh, I, because the students, I think now you can mail to me for more problems. I hope that this is the beginning of your study at least. And you mail to me whenever you face any problem, attempt the problem. If you are not able to tell me, I, I, I'll help them. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you all. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Sujata yeah. Madam. Yeah. So I formally propose the vote of thanks. Uh, first and foremost, let me um, uh, thank our regional director, Dr. G.S. Toruti Madam, and the whose initiative and leadership this session could be held. Uh, next, I would like to thank our coordinator of SH College Tehra, uh, Dr. Tom Varghi, sir, uh, who was gracious enough to arrange for this session at a very short notice, I suppose. Next, I would also like to thank my colleagues, uh, uh, the colleague, uh, Dr. V.T. Janaja Kumari. I think she was the one who interacted with Tom Marquis, sir, for the arrangement of the session. And uh, next, I would like to thank uh, our resource person also for today's uh, session, uh, Professor Didimos, uh, head of the department, Department of Mathematics, SH College, Tevra, who also took a session on linear algebra, which is a part of MMT002. Uh, so I wholeheartedly, on behalf of all, thank him as well. Next, I would also like to thank our resource person and uh, Professor Sujata Verma from School of Sciences, IGNO headquarters, Delhi. Uh, she was very gracious enough to uh, come and spend time with the students and interact with the students. In fact, she was very interactive with the students, continuously asking for their doubts, clearances, and uh, the topics which they are finding it difficult. She explained uh, the real analysis from MMT004. And uh, I wholeheartedly thank you, ma'am, on behalf of all uh, for these, uh, for the uh, graciously attending to the student queries and uh, and taking the session uh, last and uh, last i would also thank my other colleagues and staff of free center kuchin um, because of which the session was made possible once and uh, and then lastly i have to thank all the msc msc students uh, who i think patiently attended the session from i think the session began from 2:45 uh, it seemed and uh, they have been graciously attending it so once again, thank you to all dear students for attending this session. Thank you. All the best for the students. Okay. Thank you very much for thank your you sweet sir. words. Yeah. Dr. Prasida, thanks a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.